Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a story about what if powerful Naruto council bashing harem chunin exam. Before I start, please support for more amazing content and do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. This is written by Bahamutsal King and link in the description and support writer. Let's start the video. Chapter 1. Birth of a Telepath. Five years after the Kaiubi attacked, we find the usually peaceful village of Konoha, where people live together in peace and joyful harmony, but not young five-year-old Naruto Uzumaki Namikas, he was yet again being chased by a mob of dumb villagers who believe he is the Kaiubi reincarnation, those fools. Naruto had crimson red hair that goes between his shoulders, yes, Naruto will be a redhead like his mother in this story, he was pretty fast for a kid his age, and he wore orange shirt and black shorts. Why, why do they chase me so much and try to kill me? thought Naruto, and he runs into an alley and hides in a dumpster, as he hides, the villagers run past him. Inside the dumpster, Naruto looks out and sees that the coast is clear, he gets out and goes over to Hokage Tower, I need to get to Jiji before they find me thought Naruto, but when he gets to the base of the tower. Wham! A rock hits Naruto in the back of the head and he blacks out, now we've got you demon shouted a male villager, we will now finish what our yandame started shouted the pink haired villager, it's councilwoman Mabuki Hurano, now you died demon shouted a female villager, you killed our loved ones and friends, and now we will end your life. Shouted another male villager. They begin beating, stabbing and hitting Naruto to an inch away from death, but they were rash, they were in front of Hokage Tower, enough shouted a voice of authority, the mob stopped dead in their tracks, they turn and see the Hokage and a squad of Anbu. Okajama, we were just finishing the Yandame's work by killing the demon brat. Said a stupid villager, arrest him ordered Hiruzen as he pointed at the villager who said that, the Anbu arrest the villager, what, Hokajama you can't do this. Exclaimed a villager, I am the Hokage, and I make my choice, and I told you all hundreds and hundreds of time, not to try and kill him, especially Yumabuki. Hiruzen said in an angry voice, Hiruzen at this time is getting his backbone back, and he has finally had enough of the civilians and shinobi trying to kill Naruto. But 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 Mabuki tried to say, then she hears a voice that she recognizes all too well, Mabuki, she pales and turns to see Kazashi her husband, and he does not look happy, Kazashi, I was uh at the market getting groceries. Mabuki tried to lie, which she was very lame ass bad at, I told you to leave the boy alone, you disobeyed me, the next time you try to hurt him, will be your last. Said Kazashi in a threatening tone, Kazashi will not be bashed, I decided that Kazashi will try everything he can to protect Naruto. Do I make myself clear? asked Kazashi, but Kazashi Mabuki tried to say, Mabuki said Kazashi in a tone that means business, Mabuki looks down in defeat yes, Kazashi said Mabuki in defeat, good said Kazashi. The rest are all yours Hokage-sama. Said Kazashi, thank you Kazashi. Said Hiruzen, of course sir said Kazashi, and leaves with his wife, the punishment for your actions against Naruto would normally be death, but I decided to have you be thrown in prison until you all earned your lessons, if not then you will be executed, this is the last time I'm doing this said Hiruzen. The civilians and some shinobi that hate Naruto begin to shout in outrage silence shouted Hiruzen, and they shut right up in fear, from now on, if anybody tries to hurt and or kill Naruto will be publicly executed for the village to see, I have spoken. Declared Hiruzen, and they pale at this, take them away, and get Naruto to the hospital. Hiruzen ordered the Anbu, yes sir replied the Anbu, and they arrest the attackers and rush Naruto to the hospital. Naruto's mind, the moment he blacked out, Naruto wakes up in his subconscious, and he notices that it is like a sewer, where am I? Naruto asks himself. Kid, come closer. Said a voice, and Naruto gets nervous and follows the voice, he comes across a giant cage with a seal on it. What the heck is that? Naruto thought, and red chakra becomes visible behind the cage door as a face appears, hello Naruto Uzumaki Namikas. Said the massive chakra, Namikas. Ask Naruto, you weren't told about your heritage. Ask a surprise Kaiubi, heritage. Who are my parents? asked Naruto. Your parents' kit are Kashina Uzumaki and Minato Namikas. Said Kaiubi, Naruto's eyes widen at this, what, how? Yelled Naruto, and Kaiubi shouts shut up brat, and Naruto shuts his mouth in fear. Geez kit, at this rate your yelling's gonna burst my eardrums. Said Kaiubi with a sweat drop, the Yandame Hokage is my father. Asked Naruto, yes answered Kaiubi. Why, why would he seal you inside me? cried Naruto, Kit, your father had to protect Konoha, he tried protecting the village and his wife and you at once, but it didn't work so well, he sealed me inside you to make sure the damned Ichiha that kidnapped you wouldn't get his greedy and power-hungry hands onto my power, said Kaiubi in an angry tone. Who is the Ichiha who tried to get your power? asked Naruto, the name of the Ichiha who tried it was Madara Ichiha, one of the founders of Konoha, he is also ultimately responsible for the death of your clan. Explained Kaiubi, and Naruto is horrified at this and then gets very angry. 
I will bring that bastard to his knees. Snarled Naruto, Kaiubi chuckles, it seems we have a common enemy. He said. But if Madara is a founder of Konoha, then he should be long dead by now. Said Naruto as he suddenly remembers that Madara is a founder, Madara is somehow still alive, that now means you can begin your quest for vengeance. Said Kaiubi, you're damn right I will. Said Naruto. Naruto then remembers something, Kaiubi, what were my parents like? He asked, well kid, your mother was one of the last surviving members of the Uzumaki clan, you see including you there are five Uzumakis left in the elemental nations. Explained Kaiubi, sorry to interrupt, but do you mean that there are more Uzumakis in the elemental nations? Asked Naruto who is in shock. Yes kid, there are five other Uzumakis other than yourself, and about your father, he was the last of the Namakas clan, until you were born. Said Kaiubi, and Naruto is in shock, dad was the last of his clan until I was born, I want answers from Jiji, and I want them when I wake up thought Naruto. Kid, before you go, you have three Keke Genkais that no one except the old man has heard about. Said Kaiubi, Keke Genkai. Asked Naruto in a confused voice, that's right, the fucking Chuanin at the academy sabotaged your education, said Kaiubi in realization, he continues a Keke Genkai or a bloodline limit is a very special power that makes a clan a powerful clan, and I did say you have three. I have three Keke Genkais. Asked Naruto, yes kid said Kaiubi, what are they? Asked Naruto, the first one is a special power called telepathy, it means the power of the mind, and you can use it at will, the second one is magnetism, that allows you to control all metal at will, and the third and final one is teleportation, it allows you to get to anywhere just by thoughts. It is perfect for escapes from those stupid villagers who see you as me. Explained Kaiubi. Naruto grins at this, with those Keke Genkais on my side, then no one will try and hurt me he thought, I am so gonna enjoy them. Said an excited Naruto, don't get too cocky Brad, they're gonna be very tricky to master. Warned Kaiubi. But Kaiubi, how will I recognize the five Yuzumakas who are probably still out there? Asked Naruto, and Kaiubi smirks and says that part is easy, they have the same hair color as you. That will make finding them easy. Naruto said sarcastically, now you need to wake up, the old man will need to know what you learned from me, if he says not to trust me, and that I am evil, tell him Kaiubi attacked because he was controlled by an Ichiha, and when Kaiubi got free, he attacked in self-defense, that might be able to get him to know the truth. Said Kaiubi. Okay, later said Naruto. Hanoha Hospital, real world. Naruto opens his eyes and sees that the room he's in is white, where am I? Asked Naruto, you are in the hospital said a voice, and Naruto turns to see a doctor, you were out cold for three hours, you're lucky to be alive, thanks to being in front of Hokage Tower. Said a doctor that is next to him. What happened when I was out? Asked Naruto, the villagers did the same thing to you like they did last year, they beat, stabbed and hit you until you were an inch away from death, that was until Hokage Zama stopped it. Explained the doctor, yes, and just in time too. Said a voice. Naruto and the doctor turn and see Hiruzen sitting on a chair, Jiji, can I tell you something important in private? Asked Naruto, you may said Hiruzen, and the doctor leaves the room to give them privacy, the moment I blacked out, I came face to face with the Kaiubi. Said Naruto. Hiruzen's eyes widen at this, Naruto, don't listen to it, it's pure evil, and will try and corrupt you. Said Hiruzen in worry, and Naruto says Kaiubi wanted me to say something to you for him in case you said that, and it was Kaiubi Adaked because he was controlled by an Ichiha, and when Kaiubi got free from the mind control, he attacked in self-defense, that is the reason Kaiubi attacked. His words not mine. Hiruzen calms down and asks did he say the name of the Ichiha. And Naruto says he said Madara Ichiha. Hiruzen becomes even more shocked at this, Madara should be long dead by now. He said in shock, that's exactly what I said. Naruto exclaimed. Did he tell you anything else? Asked Hiruzen, my parents, Minato Namakas and Kashina Yuzumaki, said Naruto and Hiruzen's eyes widen yet again, and that I have not one, but three powerful Keke Genkais. Naruto continued, you were supposed to be told about your parents when you either turn 15 or become a Chunin, but since Kaiubi told you then you can have your heritage. Said Hiruzen with his head down in shame. Why, why would keep my parents' identity secret from me? Asked Naruto feeling betrayed, I'm sorry Naruto, your parents had many powerful enemies outside the village and would try and get their revenge by killing their son, so I kept it a secret from nearly everyone in the village. Explained Hiruzen in guilt, now I know why Jiji was keeping my heritage from me thought Naruto. And what's this about having three Keke Genkais? Asked Hiruzen, Kaiubi said I have three Keke Genkais. Said Naruto, what are they? Asked Hiruzen. Kaiubi told me that the first one is telepathy, the second one is magnetism, and the third one is teleportation. Explained Naruto. Hiruzen is now beyond shocked, I haven't heard of those three Keke Genkais in a long time. Said Hiruzen, you know of them? Asked Naruto. 
Yes, I fraud a couple of telepaths, magnetism manipulators and teleporters before, and that was 40 years ago, it is very rare to have those powers. Said Hirazan, am I the only telepath in the elemental nations that exists right now? Asked Naruto. So far, yes you're the only one, but having all three Kekei Genkes has never happened before. Said Hirazan, wow, so how will I be able to control them? Asked Naruto. Let's see, Inoichi will train you in your telepathy because he knows nearly all the abilities that a telepath has, and he will be able to narrow down what abilities your telepathy has. Said Hirazan, who's Inoichi? Asked Naruto, he is the head of the Amanaka clan. Answered Hirazan, is he one of the people who treat me like the others do? Asked Naruto. No, he and the Shinobi Council excluding the Ichiha clan, tried to protect you from the civilians and the civilian council, they are after your blood, because you're the Kaiubi Jinchuriki, and Jinchuriki usually don't have happy lives, but yours is far worse than any Jinchuriki ever. Said Hirazan. There are other Jinchuriki, I thought I was the only one. Asked Naruto in a surprised tone, yes, there are more Jinchuriki. Said Hirazan. However, there is something you should know Naruto-kun, your mother Kishina was the Kaiubi Jinchuriki before you. Said Hirazan yet again. What? Asked Naruto in shock, yes, her status as a Jinchuriki was kept secret. Said Hirazan, and why the fuck was my status as a Jinchuriki revealed? Asked Naruto in annoyed tone. Hirazan is shocked that the five-year-old knew such language and answered because your parents wanted you to be seen as a hero for keeping the Kaiubi at bay, but their request was dishonored and made you suffer. Request. What does he mean by that? Thought Naruto as he raised an eyebrow. What do you mean by request? Asked Naruto, that's because they're still alive. Answered Hirazan, that shocked the hell out Naruto, what? He yelled. Yes kid, they are still alive, Kaiubi said to Naruto in his head, how come they left me in the village to those, those vile beasts we call villagers? Asked Naruto in an angry voice. Hirazan was surprised at Naruto for calling the villagers a bad name like vile beasts, wow, I didn't think you would call them that Naruto. Said Hirazan, unexpected stuff happens from time to time. Answered Naruto. Hey kid, neither of your parents know about your three keke jinkes, bet you can't wait to see their faces when they learn about them, said Kaiubi in Naruto's head, Naruto grinned at the thought, are they still in the village Jiji? Asked Naruto. No, they left the village with your sister Natsuki, who is two years older than you, they thought the Kaiubi would give you problems, and decided to train Natsuki, so that Kaiubi would be contained. Answered Hirazan, what what yelled Naruto and Kaiubi from Naruto's subconscious. Wait, are you and Kaiubi in good terms? Asked Hirazan, yup Naruto heard Kaiubi say in his head, Kaiubi says yes answered Naruto. Then Minato and Kishina are training Natsuki for nothing then, you see Jinchuriki don't have very good chakra control. Explained Hirazan, kid, I can teach you chakra control better than anyone, I can train you in it, I offered this chance to Mido and Kishina, Mido accepted because she is nice to me like you are, Kishina however, was way too stubborn to listen, Naruto heard Kaiubi. Kaiubi offered me training in chakra control, he also said that he offered this chance to my mother and Mido-sama, when he was sealed in them, Mido-sama accepted, but my mom was way too stubborn to listen to him. Said Naruto. Is that so, I'm glad Kaiubi is inside you, you get your own private training. Said a happy Hirazan, ha, mom and dad are in for a big shocker when they find out about my three keke jinkes thought Naruto. Meanwhile an unknown area. Achu sneeze to certain shinobi, someone must be talking about me they thought as they continued to train their daughter. I hope that Naruto is being treated like a hero and receiving special training, and if he isn't, then all hell's gonna break loose when Kashina learns about it, thought the blonde shinobi. My Sachi better be treated like a human, because if he isn't, then I will tear those who harmed him limb from limb, thought the blood red headed shinobi, as the thought caused many Konoha villagers who harmed Naruto get shivers in their spines. I hope you're being treated fairly little brother, cause if you aren't, then I will open up a great big can of Wupass on those who disrespected you, Yuzumaki style thought a seven year old redhead. Aka Kanoha. Well, as I said Inoichi will train you in your telepathy, I will try and help you with your magnetism training and teleportation training. Said Hirazan. Naruto grins and hugs Hirazan, thank you Jiji he said, you're welcome Naruto said Hirazan as he smiled. A week later. Naruto is standing in front of Hirazan's desk waiting for Inoichi to arrive alright Naruto, once you master your three keke jinkase, I want you to keep it a secret until I say you can reveal it. Explained Hirazan. Yes Jiji said Naruto, I also want you to make sure you pass the genin exams when I enroll you into the academy for the exam, I have suspicions that one of the Chuanin at the academy is a traitor, I sense that one of them had dark chakra, and I want you to be my eyes and ears when it's time. Hirazan told Naruto, as you wish he said. Hey Jiji, what age do academy students have to be to take the exams to become genin? Asked Naruto, the age to take the genin exams is 15. Answered Hirazan. Thanks said a grateful Naruto, no problem Naruto said a smiling Hirazan. 
they hear a knock on the door, come and ordered Hiruzen, and a man with blonde hair and a high ponytail comes in, you wanted to see me Hokage-sama? Asked the man. Yes I did Inoichi, I would like to introduce to you Naruto Uzumaki here. Answered Hiruzen, any reason for this? Inoichi again asked, because young Naruto here unlocked three Keke Genkai that haven't been around for 40 years. Answered Hiruzen yet again. Inoichi's eyes widen at this, you mean he has the three Keke Genkai's telepathy, magnetism and teleportation. He asked in realization, yes, and I would like you to train Naruto in his telepathy. Said Hiruzen with a smirk. You have picked the right person for that kind of training, my clan does have skills with the mind, I would be honored to train Naruto in his telepathy training, but who will train Naruto in his magnetism and teleportation? Said asked Inoichi, I am, because I understand them better than anyone. Answered Hiruzen. Are you sure Hokage-sama, what about paperwork? Asked Inoichi, I'll take care of it after Naruto's training is done for the day, I will also be teaching him some jutsus myself. Answered Hiruzen. How long till Naruto's training to be complete and that he can enter the academy for the genin exam? Asked Inoichi, it would be 10 years. Answered Hiruzen. Perfect, Naruto will be well prepared for the exam and the outside world. Said Inoichi in a happy voice, yes, but when he begins his training under me, I will teach him a jutsu that will be a big help for his training. Said Hiruzen. It wouldn't happen to be the shadow clone jutsu now wouldn't it? Asked Inoichi, yes, answered Hiruzen with a smirk again. What's the shadow clone jutsu? Asked Naruto, the shadow clone jutsu is a class forbidden jutsu that can give the user of the jutsu the memories of the shadow clone if dispelled, it is a jonin class jutsu. Explained Hiruzen, wow, that sounds like an awesome and handy jutsu to have, hey Jiji ever thought of using shadow clones for paperwork? Said asked Naruto. Hiruzen froze at that, he then gets a wooden plank with a red target that says bonk head here from under his desk and bangs his head on it several times while saying stupid with each bang, why didn't I think of that? Said Hiruzen while crying and I am tears with Inoichi and Naruto sweat dropping at Hiruzen's tactics. Naruto, for telling me the secret to defeating paperwork, you have my permission to use forbidden jutsus Hiruzen started to say and then gets a dark expression, but I want you to promise me something Naruto, only use the forbidden jutsus for when you really need to. He finished. I promise Jiji said Naruto, but you can use the shadow clone jutsu whenever you please, for battle, training and messages. Said Hiruzen. Thanks Jiji said a happy Naruto, of course Naruto said Hiruzen. So Jiji, when does training start? Asked Naruto, it begins tomorrow morning answered Hiruzen. Alright, I will get prepared for the training. Said Naruto and he leaves to prepare for the training he will be receiving. Hiruzen sighs sadly, Hokage-sama, is something wrong? Asked Inoichi, yes Inoichi, I fear that Naruto will face some warriors that will want his Keke Genkase for their own gain and greed. Said Hiruzen in a worried voice. If that's what you're worried about, then we need Naruto to be well prepared for his journey as a shinobi. Said Inoichi, yes, and Naruto also must be able to survive the wrath of the civilians, and they have their last warning. Said Hiruzen in agreement. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Asked a voice that Hiruzen recognized very well, they look at the door and see the head of the root Anbu and a member of the Elder Council, Danzo Shimura. What do you need Danzo? Asked Hiruzen with narrowed eyes, I would like to offer the Yuzumaki Namika's boy the protection of the root Anbu said Danzo. How do I know that this isn't one of your seems to have Naruto enrolled into the root Anbu? Asked Hiruzen, you see old friend, I have been in the shadows for long enough, the Uzumaki boy has suffered enough, and more importantly the civilian council has been in control of things around Konoha for long enough, the time of the civilian council's corruption has come to an end. Said Danzo surprising Hiruzen and Inoichi. So you've finally come to your senses old friend. Said Hiruzen in a happy tone, indeed said Danzo while smirking. Rude Anbu can watch over Naruto and protect him from all dangers that the civilians have in store. Said Hiruzen, of course, and I also know that young Naruto has the three Keke Jinkei's telepathy, magnetism and teleportation. Said Danzo. Hiruzen and Inoichi's eyes widen at this, I've done my own research on telepathy, and what I discovered on telepathy is what I call its darkest secret, it's that the telepath can copy any jutsu and bloodline that their enemy wields, and that is very rare for a telepath to copy Keke Jinkei's. Explained Danzo making both men beyond shocked at what they heard. How is that possible, if a telepath can do that, then telepathy can make the Sharingan look like a joke. Said Inoichi, that is exactly what I mean. Said Danzo with a smirk. What must the telepath do to copy a Keke Genkai? Asked Inoichi, all the telepath has to do is to look into their enemy's eyes, think the words copy Keke Genkai, and the telepath gains the Keke Genkai. Explained Danzo. Will the telepath be able to keep the Keke Genkai, even if he or she copies another Keke Genkai? Asked Hiruzen, from what I discovered, yes, and here's the real kicker, a telepath can copy Jutsu much faster than the Sharingan, no matter how powerful the Sharingan is. 
said Danzo. Hiruzen and Anoichi are in awe at this, telepathy truly is better than the Sharingan, I might have to ask Naruto-kun if he wants to be in the Crawthought Hiruzen happily. Young Naruto will become an extremely powerful telepath, I just know it. Said Hiruzen in a proud tone, you got that right Hokage-sama, with telepathy, magnetism and teleportation on his side and complete control, then Naruto Uzumaki Namakas will be unstoppable. Said Anoichi. Right, young Naruto will be a shinobi that even the bravest of all will fear him, I know he will. Said Hiruzen. Meanwhile with Naruto just as he left Hokage office. Naruto is now walking home with a smile on his face, okay, hopefully I don't have to run into those bloodthirsty savages again he thought. He takes a different route to get near his apartment, but then his stomach growls. Time for some Raymond Naruto thought to himself again. Naruto goes to Ichirakus for some Raymon, Tuchi and AM are some of the Kanoha citizens that don't see Naruto as the Kaiubi reincarnation, he gets to the Raymond stand, and AM sees him. Hey Naruto Kun she says happily, and Naruto smiles and says hello AM Chan. Dad, Naruto is here AM calls out, and Tuchi comes out and sees him, hey Naruto, how are things today? Ask Tuchi. Well, I'll be receiving training from Hokage Jiji and Inoichi Sama. Said Naruto. Both of their eyes widen at this, wow Naruto, that is an honor to be trained by Hokage Sama and Inoichi Sama, any reason why they are training you? Asked AM. Because we discovered that I have three KK Jin case. Said Naruto, that threw both Tuchi and AM for a loop, as their jaws drop all the way to the ground, three KK Jin case. Asked an extremely shocked Tuchi. Yup answered Naruto, what are they? Asked AM. They are telepathy, magnetism and teleportation. Answered Naruto. If AM's and Tuchi's jaws didn't drop farther into the ground, they did now what? She shrieked, no way said an even more shocked Tuchi. You guys know about them? Asked Naruto, know about them, we've heard rumors about them. Said AM. What were the rumors? Asked Naruto, rumor has it that those with either telepathy, magnetism or teleportation are said to be nearly unstoppable, but to have all three Keke Genkai is even more frightening. Explained Tuchi. What can you tell me about telepathy? Asked Naruto who became more and more curious, you see Naruto, from the rumors that we have heard, it's that the very first telepath was born 500 years ago, his name was Koga Fujimoto, he was an extremely powerful telepath, no one could match him. Explained Tuchi. Wow. Said Naruto in awe, at the same timeline, the first magnetism manipulator is named Kazeko Tachibana, she was very powerful herself, and no wielder of magnetism could hold a candle to her. Tuchi continues. At the exact timeline is Koga and Kazeko, the most powerful teleporter, or should I say most powerful teleporting duel are a man named Koichi Yukimura and a woman named Masago Mizushima, both are tied for that rank, nobody can out-teleport them. Tuchi finishes. I can't believe that there were shinobi that powerful that lived long ago, Yash I now have a new dream and goal, I want to surpass the most powerful telepath, magnetism manipulator and teleporters of all time, and I will also become Hokage. Declared Naruto proudly. We're sure you will Naruto, oh I forgot, what would you like? Said asked Tuchi, oh right, the usual. Answered Naruto, oh and Naruto, this time it's on the house. Said Tuchi, you're the best. Said Naruto smiling, why thank you that's very kind of you. Said Tuchi also smiling. An hour later. After Naruto finishes his Raymond, he walks home while avolding the civilians, but first he hides and decides to eavesdrop on a conversation of drunk civilians, the demon brat has been giving us a lot of problems, we need to put this monster down and kill any demon lover on sight, man, woman whatever tonight. I don't give a rat's ass of what the old fart thinks he doesn't have the balls to stop us, the demon brat will die and we will kill it, and if it's the last thing we ever do. Naruto heard from the conversation. Looks like some civilians never learn thought Naruto and sneaks away to Hokage Tower, he knocks and hears come in, and Naruto enters, Jiji, I eavesdropped on a conversation of what looked like drunk civilians, I heard them say, the demon brat has been giving us a lot of problems, we need to put this monster down and kill any demon lover on sight, man, woman whatever tonight. I don't give a rat's ass of what the old fart thinks he doesn't have the balls to stop us, the demon brat will die and we will kill it, and if it's the last thing we ever do, that's what I heard. Said Naruto. Hiruzen gets furious and then all right, I have had it he yells, if it's execution they want, then it's execution they'll get. Growled Hiruzen. Anbu? Said Hiruzen, and five Anbu appear yes Hokage-sama. One of them ask, round up the mob of the civilians and shinobi who didn't heed my warning, it's time that they learn who they are dealing with. Ordered Hiruzen. As you wish. Replied the Anbu, they are in for the punishment of their lives they thought, and they shunshin out to arrest the drunk civilians and shinobi who planned on killing Naruto and anyone who cared for him. Another hour later. The mob of civilians and shinobi that didn't heed Hiruzen's warning are now at the chopping block, fearing how the Hokage found out about their plan to finally kill the Kaiubi brat behind his back. 
citizens of Kanoha, we are here to witness the execution of the ones who did not heed my warning when it involves Naruto Uzumaki Hiruzen started and was interrupted by the shouts of outrage from the Naruto haters, silence. Roared Hiruzen and they shut up in fear of his anger. As I was saying, and they yet don't know who brought the information of what they were planning to me, the one who gave me that information is none other than Naruto himself, as punishment for breaking the law and not heeding my warning, they are to be put to death for their treachery. Finished Hiruzen. Okajama, you can't do this. Sniffled one of the civilians that are going to be executed, and why not? Asked Hiruzen with narrowed eyes, we were trying to get rid of the demon brat, so its taint wouldn't plague us anymore, please don't execute me, I have a wife and kids. Pleaded the man, you think that getting your family involved will save you from your punishment, it will not. Said Hiruzen. Have mercy pleaded another civilian, how many times has Naruto begged for mercy? How many times has he pleaded for his life to be spared? You guys never show him any mercy at all, it shows how heartless you really are. Said Hiruzen, half of those who harmed and disrespected Naruto looked down in shame, while the other half still believed that Naruto is the Kaiubi. Now you will be released from your lives, but know this, your sufferings didn't end here, no, your sins against Naruto have caused your sufferings to only begin. Said Hiruzen, but someone tried to say, kill them. Ordered Hiruzen, and the executioner then gets his axe and chops their heads off. Anybody else got a problem with the law? Asked Hiruzen in a menacing voice, and everyone else shook their heads in fear. Good, dismissed. Said Hiruzen, and everyone leaves for their homes fearing that they would be next for the chopping block. Naruto walks home, at least they won't try and attack me thought Naruto, and he gets home. He undresses and goes to bed, alright, tomorrow is the day my training as a telepath, magnetism manipulator and teleporter, as well as shinobi begins, so I will be needing a good night's sleep. He said to himself and goes to sleep. The bee continued. Naruto is standing in the Hokage's office facing Hiruzen, Naruto's appearance changed as well as his personality, Naruto now had in metal armored red vest under a purple hooded cloak that has golden kanjas that reads Kanoha's mastermind with a red whirlpool above it, he wears a purple headband with a golden Egyptian style eye on it. Or black steel toed boots with metal shin guards and wore a purple and golden medallion around his neck that has a gold kanji on it that stands for mind, his red hair was in a high ponytail similar to Ino's hair which reached the base of his spine and had red bangs framing his face, the clothing Naruto is wearing is almost a mix between Magneto and Mastermind without the helmet. Naruto is still cheerful and nice, well most of the time, he also became calm, clever and mysterious, during the 10 years of training Naruto lost all his baby fat and has the looks that make him look like he is the son of Aphrodite herself, he also stood an impressive 5'8 well Naruto, your training has gone perfectly now you can take the genin exams. But I also want you to find out who is the traitor in the academy. Said Hiruzen. Of course Iratobi sensei, right away. Said Naruto, just to give you a heads up Naruto, your parents and sister have just returned today, that means you'll find Natsuki taking the genin exams as well. Warn Hiruzen, thanks for the warning. Said a grateful Naruto, of course Naruto. Said Hiruzen. Hiruzen gives Naruto a note that states that Naruto is to take the genin exams with a graduating class, Naruto, I want you to go to room 103, that is the graduating class, and the teacher is Iruka Yamino, give this note to him. Said Hiruzen, as you wish. Answered Naruto. Naruto leaves for the academy, normally it takes 30 minutes to get to the academy by walking, but it took Naruto a second to get there thanks to his teleportation, this must be the place. Said Naruto and he enters, as he enters he starts to look for room 103, room 99, room 100, where is it, room 101, room 102, no that's not it, aha there it is, room 103 thought Naruto as he found the room, he walks in and inside the classroom he saw multiple students and the teacher, Naruto used his telepathy on them and now knows who everyone in the room is. One of them is Natsuki Uzumaki much to his surprise. Natsuki Uzumaki is a beautiful young woman with long flowing red hair, which is the same color as his, she also had blue eyes like his, the style Natsuki's hair is in his two high side ponytails, she had on a fishnet mesh bodysuit similar to Anko under an orange sleeveless t-shirt, a black short skirt that goes to the top of her thighs almost like Anko, and had black knee length sandals. Well Kit, you didn't know what your sister Natsuki looks like, but now you do Naruto heard Kaiubi in his head. Yeah, and I admit she is a beautiful young woman Naruto thought, she almost looks like the splitting image of Kashina when she was her age, said Kaiubi in Naruto's head, please don't give me dirty thoughts about her. Thought Naruto, why kid, is it because Kaiubi started to say with a teasing grin, stop it. Naruto shouted in his mind as he started to have a tiny blush. As he entered, everyone looked towards him, and all females except Sakura blushed madly at the man's godlike looks, but even Sakura had a small blush, but she quickly hid it, in their minds they had thoughts like wow, that is the most handsome man I have ever seen, whoa, so gorgeous. 
And I wonder if he's single, in Natsuki's mind, the whisker marks on his cheeks, it's my little brother, and I gotta say, he is so handsome, Natsuki also noticed that Naruto is 2 inches taller than she is, in Sakura's mind I admit he's good looking, but he's not better than Sasuke-kun, yet none of them knew that Naruto can read and hear minds. Naruto walks up to the man with the scar on the nose which he assumed as Aruka through his telepathy, he gives Aruka the note, and he nods, it seems we have another new student taking the exams with us. He said. What, Iruka-sensei that's not fair, how come he and Natsuki get to take the exams early and we had to go through five years of the academy? Barked out the brash-looking boy, Kiba, I told the class that Natsuki was on a training trip, but Naruto is taking the exams early under orders from the Hokage. Explained Iruka. Would you like to introduce yourself? Asked Iruka, Naruto nods and says I am Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze, I like training, ramen, gardening, reading, my precious people and creating new jutsu, I dislike perverts, rapists, arrogance, the civilian council, the elder council minus one of them, the Achiha clan. Corruption and those who don't see the difference between the kunai and the scroll it is sealed in, my hobbies are training, gardening, learning and creating new jutsu, my goals however I would rather keep to myself. That shocked everyone except Natsuki and Aruka, he's related to Natsuki and the Yandame. They thought as Naruto heard their thoughts, alright Naruto, have a seat there between Natsuki and Hinata. Said Aruka as he pointed to the seat, of course. Said Naruto, and he goes to the seat. Natsuki and Hinata are nervous because they are not only sitting next to Naruto, but they don't know if Naruto will accept their feelings towards him, omg. Naruto's sitting next to me, what should I do, say hi, maybe I'll wait thought Hanada, brother's sitting next to me, I wonder if he know about our heritage, maybe he knows about our talent and fuinjutsu thought Natsuki. Naruto wondered if his sister agreed to leave with their parents, so he looks into her mind, he searches her memories of what happened after the Kaiubi attacked, he saw that Natsuki didn't have a choice in leaving the village, that their mother didn't want to leave him in the village, and that their father chose to leave him in the village, but he noticed something strange about Minato. He saw lust for power and evil in his eyes, he had both Kashina and Natsuki fooled. So, Natsuki didn't have a choice, mom didn't want to leave me in the village, and dad chose to leave me in the village, but there is something strange about him, I see a lust for power and evil in his eyes, in order to not to cause suspicion, I'll play dumb and act like I don't know about his true nature, I'll try and give Natsuki and mom a chance to be a part of my life. But I'll need to keep an eye on you, Minato thought Naruto with suspicion. Naruto then looks into Hinata's memories, he sees Hinata and her sister Hanabi, yes, Naruto knows who Hanabi is because his telepathy can show him anyone's family tree. How they lost their mother due to murder, but don't know who killed her, but Naruto became suspicious when he saw the looks in the eyes of the Hyuga clan elders, how their father favored Hanabi over Hinata, because Hanabi defeated Hinata in a Tajutsu fight and was made the Hyuga clan heiress. Oh poor dear, Hinata-chan and Hanabi-chan lost their mother, their father favored Hanabi-chan, I can see why Hanabi-chan was made the heiress of the Hyuga clan, Hinata-chan hesitated in the fight for the title of clan heiress, because young Hanabi-chan looked so much like their mother, and Hinata-chan felt like she was hurting her own mother and couldn't bear to see her hurt, I don't blame her. Some people feel like that when they don't want to hurt someone that looks like the one they care about the most, the looks on the faces of the Hyuga clan elders, I think they might be responsible for the death of Hinata-chan, and Hanabi-chan's mother thought Naruto in pity. Alright class, we will now start the genin exams, we will start with the writing part of the exams, Mizuki will pass out the papers. Said Aruka, and Mizuki passes out the papers, Naruto then feels dark power from Mizuki, and he hears Mizuki's thoughts once I get the Kaiubi brat to fail. I would use him to get the forbidden scroll of seals. And then I'll get the scroll away from him and get to Orochimaru sama so he can give me even more power, thanks to the curse mark he gave me thought Mizuki, Naruto has an unseeable smirk on his face. So Mizuki is the traitor, after I pass the exams I'll tell Suratobi sensei that the traitor is Mizuki thought Naruto. Meanwhile at Hokage office. Hiruzen is sitting at his desk with Minato and Kishina in front of him, welcome back to Konoha Minato and Kishina. Said with a smile on his face. Likewise Hiruzen, how has the village been treating Naruto, have they been treating him like a hero? Asked Minato. The village treated Naruto like he was the Kaiubi himself, they've done so many unspeakable things to him, I tried everything to make sure he gets treated like a hero, but they never did. Hiruzen sadly said. Ishina gets horrified, Minato pretends to be horrified, but he grins in his head perfect, Naruto will become a powerful weapon, a powerful weapon, indeed he thought with evil intentions, how could you let them do this do him, we ask them to treat him like a hero, and yet they do this to him? Cried Kishina. They were harming him behind my back, until finally I had enough and gave them one last warning, and those who didn't heed it got executed. Explained Hiruzen, Minato smiles on the outside, but begins to sweat on the inside, but Kishina grins at last, you finally got your backbone back. She cheered. 
Sure did, if you guys want I can let you beat the hell out of them for harming Naruto. Offered Hiruzen, Kashina grins a creepy grin and cracks her knuckles, I'm gonna enjoy this. She happily said, Minato nods with a smile, but in his head damn, the old man is getting his backbone back, I told the villagers to make him suffer, I made sure that those who care about Naruto didn't hear me tell the villagers that he thought angrily as they left the office. Knowing Naruto, he probably looked into Natsuki's memories to find out why they left him in the village, thought Hiruzen. Back at the academy. After two hours, the written test was complete, during the test Naruto saw a Jinjutsu on his test and removed it silently thanks to his telepathy, after that he easily did the test in a minute, time's up, now everyone follow me outside for the kunai and shuriken throw. Said Aruka. Everyone follows him out to the field, alright, when I call your name you will need to try and strike the targets you see before you. Explained Aruka, yes sensei. Replied the students, okay, first is said Aruka. After a while of the kunai and shuriken test, most of the students got some decent scores on this part of the test, Choji got 6 out of 10, Shikamaru got 7 out of 10, Sakura got 7 out of 10, Ino did better than Sakura by getting 8 out of 10, Shino got 7 out of 10, Kiba got 4 out of 10, Yakumo got 8 out of 10, Hinata got 8 out of 10, alright Sasuke, you're up. Said Aruka, Sasuke smirks and chucks the kunai and the shuriken, his fangirls cheering, he got 9 out of 10, good Sasuke, you have the highest score so far. Says Aruka, Sasuke smirks again and walks back to the group. Tsutsuki, you're next. Said Aruka, Tsutsuki walks up with the kunai and shurikens, takes aim and chucks them at the targets, everyone except Naruto are surprised, Tsutsuki got 10 out of 10, excellent Tsutsuki, you get a perfect score. Says Aruka, Tsutsuki smiles and walks back to the group, Natsuki, you're up. Natsuki walks to position and chucks the kunai and shurikens, Natsuki also gets 10 out of 10, nicely done Natsuki perfect score. Said Aruka. Itsuki smiles and walks back to the group, Naruto, you're up last. Said Aruka, Naruto gets into position, but then you should quit Naruto Baka, you'll never be as good as Sasuke-kun. Said Sakura trying to break his confidence with the other fangirls agreeing, and were rewarded with glares from Itsuki, Satsuki, Hinata, Ino and Yukumo, Naruto looks back and asks, who the hell told you that I as good as Sasuke? Everyone was confused at this, Sakura thinks that she won, but Naruto threw the kunai and squirkins behind his back and strikes all 10 targets, I'm better than Sasuke, always have been, and always will be. Said Naruto. Everyone has different thoughts which Naruto can hear, from Natsuki and Satsuki Wo, he is better than Sasuke all the way, from Ino, Yakumo and Hinata wow, he's good. From Banshee girl, er, I mean Sakura how, he must have cheated to beat Sasuke-kun. From the guys minus Kiba and Sasuke, finally, someone who can shut dog boy and emo boy, from Kiba hey, why are the hot girls all giving him those eyes, it should be me getting those eyes, I'll need to show who the alpha is, finally from Sasuke he is becoming a threat to my ambition, I may need to kill him before I kill Itachi. Naruto smirks and thinks looks like I have some new enemies, and dog boy is jealous that the pretty girls are looking at me, and one of them is my sister, and emo boy is wanting to kill me to show dominance. Aruka snapping out of his stupor and says very well done Naruto perfect score. All right now for the Tajutsu test, please follow me to the battlefield. Continued Aruka, and the students follow him to the battlefield, the battles were of the following, Sakura being the arrogant fool that she is and challenged Natsuki, Satsuki and Hinata to a three against one battle cause she wanted to impress her Sasuke-kun, she lost when Satsuki tripped her, which was amusing to watch. Shino won because his opponent forfeited as soon as the bugs started crawling all over his body, Choji easily won in a couple minutes, Shikamaru being the lazy ass bum that he normally is forfeited, Ino did better than Sakura again, but still lost against Yakumo, alright, this battle is 2 against 1, Naruto vs Sasuke and Kiba. Said Aruka. I will show you what happens when you mess with an Ichiha elite. Said Sasuke, and that got cheers from his fangirls, I will show you that I am the one who deserves to be the alpha, and I will get Natsuki, Satsuki and Hinata. Snarl Kiba, Hinata starts to cry because of Kiba's brashness, Natsuki and Satsuki felt shivers in their spines, and they comfort Hinata, Naruto notices Hinata beginning to cry, he turns to Kiba, and he does not look happy, the hell did you make Hinata-chan cry for, what did she ever do to you? He asked in an unfriendly tone. Everyone gets uneasy at the tone, Hinata however stopped crying and blushed at the Chan part added to her name, and Kiba gains enough balls to say nothing, she just needs to bow before the alpha male, meaning me. Naruto sighs and says guess I gotta discipline the dog boy and a spoiled brat. Kiba and Sasuke growl at the nicknames given to them, alright, Hajim said Aruka, then Kiba charges and gets tripped by Naruto because of his brash nature, but before the impact Naruto got Akamaru out of the impact zone and put the puppy down on the ground, Naruto looks at Kiba who is already knocked out, what the? How did he get knocked out from a simple trip, is he really that weak? Asked Naruto in a surprised voice. 
Sasuke then charges no one can stop the power of an Ichiha elite. He called out in an arrogant tone, Naruto looks at him with an uninterested look oh please he thought, and he raises his left hand and catches Sasuke by the head, and Sasuke started trying to punch him, but was missing every single hit like a wuss, Natsuki starts to snicker, Satsuki covers her mouth to stop herself from laughing. Anata giggles cutely at the tactics. Naruto kept holding Sasuke back in this positine until Sasuke got worn out, Iruka is in shock he's wearing Sasuke out into exhaustion, that's a smart move he thought, Naruto is smirking at this and says this is an Achiha elite. If it is, then this is just sad cause elites can give me more of a challenge. From what the information his telepathy gave him on Sasuke and Satsuki, from Sasuke he found out that he is a power-hungry, revenge-obsessed, arrogant and spoiled brat, Satsuki is the complete opposite, she is a cheerful, nice, fun-loving and sweet young woman, Sasuke snarls at Naruto don't underestimate me. Naruto then does a very light chop to the back of the head, and Sasuke is out cold, winner, Naruto Uzumaki. Declared Aruka, and Sakura being the fangirl that she was then shrieks how, Naruto Baka must have cheated, Sasuke-kun is the best. And the other fangirls agree, Sakura, Naruto didn't cheat, if he did then I would notice it, but since he didn't then he wins. Said Aruka. Sakura and the rest of Sasuke's fangirls huff and pout and annoyance, okay now that Tajutsu is done, now for the ninjutsu, follow me to the target range. Said Aruka and the students follow him to the target range. During the ninjutsu test, the students did D-rank Jutsus and C-rank Jutsus and got good scores on it, Sasuke is up next Sasuke, you're next. Said Aruka, Sasuke walks up and does some hand signs fire style. Fireball Jutsu he called out and blows a fireball the size of a beach ball at the dummy, well done Sasuke, Satsuki you're up. And Satsuki walks up as Sasuke walks back, Satsuki does hand signs fire style. Phoenix Flower Jutsu Satsuki called out and ten huge streams of fire appear and the dummy didn't stand a chance. Excellent Satsuki, Natsuki you're up. Said Aruka, and Satsuki goes back while Natsuki steps up then does a couple hand signs water style. Raging waves and blows a large torrent of water at the dummy and the dummy is soaked, great job Natsuki, alright Naruto you're up last. Said Aruka, Natsuki goes back to the group and Naruto walks up to position, does some hand signs and calls out Earth style. Earth dragon bomb everyone is surprised at this, a huge mud dragon head appears from the ground and fires five huge mud bullets at the dummy which obliterated it. Aruka is shocked at this nicely done Naruto, alright we will head back inside and you guys will take the genin exams he said, and the students follow Aruka back inside. Back inside the building, the students are taking the exam to see which ones pass and which ones fail, the others passed, Sasuke Chia. Said Aruka, and Sasuke walks in and does the test, and he comes out with his shinobi headband. Natsuki Uzumaki Namikas. Said Aruka, Natsuki goes in for the exam, after a couple minutes Natsuki comes out with the headband, Satsuki Chia. Said Aruka, and Satsuki goes in and comes out with the headband a few minutes later, Naruto Uzumaki Namikas. Said Aruka, and Naruto goes in. Alright Naruto, first we would like you to perform the transformation jutsu. Said Aruka, and Naruto transforms into Hirazan Suratobi, Aruka smiles transformation pass, now the substitution jutsu. He said. Naruto substitutes himself with Mizuki's chair, and he falls onto his bottom with a bump, Aruka tried his best not to snicker at Mizuki's misfortune, substitution pass, now the last one is clones. Said Aruka, can it be any kind of clone? Ask Naruto, and Aruka says yes, it can be any kind of clone. Naruto grins and makes a cross hand sign shadow clone jutsu he called out, and 15 perfect shadow clones appear, excellent, you have used an advanced clone jutsu called the shadow clone jutsu, that counts as a pass, you pass Naruto, you are now a shinobi to Konoha. Said a happy Aruka as he give Naruto the headband, and Naruto puts it around his neck. Mizuki however is furious, damn it, the brat passed, I was hoping that he would fail, so getting the forbidden scroll of sealing would be easy, now I gotta do it myself he thought, Naruto smirks which is unseen. Bullish Mizuki, I will tell Sirotobi sensei your plan about to steal the scroll before you can even get to it, thought Naruto. After the test, Hiruka is standing in front of the class and is going to give out the class ranks, alright, now we will be giving out the class ranks, the rookie of the for the shinobi is Naruto Uzumaki Namikas with Sasuke Chiha behind by a hair. Said Aruka, Naruto smiles, but Sasuke is pissed off I will kill you dope, then Itachi he thought. It is a tie for Kanoichi of the year, Natsuki Uzumaki Namikas and Satsuki Achiha, congratulations. Said Aruka, both girls smile at that, the dead last however is Kiba and Yuzuka, tough luck for you pal. Said Aruka jokingly, getting some snickers. Hiba is growling at this, damn it to hell, that red haired guy stole my spot as Alpha, I'll beat him for the title of Alpha, and if it's the last thing I do. 
he shouted in his head, Naruto smiles as he heard his thoughts Oh Kiba, you will never be the alpha, you need to be able to let your brash and arrogant behavior go and grow up he thought in amusement, dismiss said Aruka, and everyone leaves the room. After that, Naruto is walking to a spot where no one can see him, but then he stops and turns around, I know you're back there, come on out, I prefer to talk face to face. He said, and Natsuki, Satsuki and Hinata come out, H hi Naruto, I'm Natsuki Uzumaki Namika's your older sister. Said Natsuki in a shy voice cause this is the first time she's seen her brother in years, and Naruto calmly says I know who you are, I also know who you two are, Satsuki Uchiha the younger twin of Sasuke Uchiha, and Hinata Hayuga, the firstborn daughter of Hiashi Hayuga and older sister of Hinabi Hayuga. Said Naruto, their eyes widen at this. How did you know who we are? Asks Satsuki, I have knowledge on everything in Konoha, I know all about you and everything in this village. Explained Naruto. Then you know about our parents and heritage? Asked Natsuki, I know you didn't have a choice, and mom didn't want to leave me in this hellhole, and that our dad chose to leave me here, now if you'll excuse me I have some business to take care of, you three go home. Said Naruto. Naruto walks around a corner, and the three try to get to him, and when they turn to the corner he wasn't there, what they didn't know is that Naruto teleported to Hokage Tower. At Hokage Tower. Naruto walks up to the secretary, I'm here to see Siratobi sensei He asked, and she looks and sees him go away brat, the Hokage doesn't want to see you. She rudely said to him, Naruto sighs I didn't want to do this, but he thought, he looks into her eyes as the arises in his own begin to glow white, she then becomes calm, and says Hokage-sama has been expecting you. She said, thank you. Said Naruto and he goes in and she goes back to normal, she looks around, and sees that Naruto isn't there anymore he must have left, good now I can be in peace. She said not knowing that Naruto hurt her. She is looking forward to being fired if she keeps that up Naruto thought, and he knocks on the Hokage's door come in. Said the voice of the Hokage, and Naruto walks in and sees Hiruzen at his desk relaxing as he finished paperwork, Hello Naruto, I see you passed the genin exams. Said Hiruzen, indeed. Said Naruto. Have you found out who the traitor at the academy is? Asked Hiruzen, and Naruto nods yes, the traitor is Mizuki, I heard his thoughts about stealing the forbidden scroll of sealing and giving it to Orochimaru, something about making his curse mark stronger and gaining more power, and he was gonna get me to fail, so he can get me to get it and not him. He said. Hiruzen's eyes widen and silently curses himself for letting his weakness stop him from killing his student, I should have known this would happen, and I can't believe that he has a curse mark. He said. Nobody does. Answered Naruto, and after he calms down, Hiruzen asks have you met your sister Natsuki yet? Yes. Answered Naruto. You looked into her memories with your telepathy, didn't you? Ask Hiruzen again, and Naruto nods yup, Natsuki didn't have a choice, mom didn't want to leave me in this village, and dad was the one who chose to do it, but he said, but what? Ask Hiruzen. At Natsuki's memory of our dad, I noticed something strange about him. Naruto explained, how so? Ask Hiruzen, I noticed a lust for power and evil intentions in his eyes. Said Naruto. Do you have proof? Asked Hiruzen, and Naruto nods again and makes a holographic projection of Minato with his telepathy, man that comes in handy, Hiruzen looks the projection in the eyes, and he sees that Naruto was right, so Minato is power hungry as well, and he is using deception to make himself look like a caring husband and father. Naruto we may need to play dumb to make sure that Minato doesn't know that we know his true nature. He said. That was my plan as well. Said Naruto with a grin, alright, first we let Mizuki take the scroll of sealing to the forest of death, and you will stop him there. Said Hiruzen, as you wish. Said Naruto. Later in the night. Hiruzen is standing in front of two groups, Chunin group and Anbu group, alright, I want you to find the traitor who stole the scroll of sealing, and bring him to justice, kill him if he refuses to surrender. Hiruzen ordered them, hi Hokage-sama. They say together and they shunshun to locate the traitor, but two figures heard everything, Natsuki Uzumaki Namikas and Satsuki Uchiha. We need to help them find this traitor. Said Natsuki, but we don't know where to look. Whimpered Satsuki, and they see Aruka heading for the forest of death, let's follow him. Said Natsuki, yes, let's. Agreed Satsuki, and they follow Aruka to the forest of death. Forest of death. Mizuki is panting cause he got away from Hokage Tower, he now has the scroll of sealing, ha ha ha, now ultimate power will be mine when I give Arachimaru sama the scroll of sealing. He crackled insanely. No way in hell am I gonna let you get away with the scroll Mizuki. Said a voice behind him, Mizuki turns and sees Aruka and an unexpected arrival of two Kanoichi, so Aruka, you think that you and your two comrades can defeat me? Asked Mizuki with an insane grin, Aruka looks back in surprise that Natsuki and Satsuki are behind him. What are you two doing here? You two should be at home. Aruka asked in shock that they are with him, we wanted to help catch the traitor. Answered Natsuki. Get out of here, this is too dangerous for you two. 
ordered Aruka, no, we will not abandon you in a situation like this. Yelled Satsuki, guess I get to kill all three of you. Said Mizuki as he laughed like a madman, die. Shouted Mizuki as he threw ten huge shurikens at them, they waited for the time to dodge, but then they stopped in midair. What, how did you stop them like that? Shouted Mizuki in shock, we didn't. Answered Aruka, then who? Asked Mizuki again, I did. Answered another voice that they recognize, they turn and see Naruto with his hand out. Naruto? Asked a shocked Aruka, how is he doing that? Thought a surprised Natsuki, I've never seen something like this before thought Satsuki, Mizuki grins, the Kaiubi brat is here, now for the fun party thought and greed. Naruto do you know why the village hated you? Asked a crazed Mizuki, no Mizuki. Shouted Aruka, Natsuki lowers her head because she knows, Satsuki is confused huh? She thought. No I don't, please enlighten me. Asked Naruto playing dumb, 15 years ago, there was a decree that no one is to speak about. Said Mizuki, decree, what does he mean by that? Thought Satsuki confused as hell. Here it comes thought Naruto, don't tell him, it's forbidden. Shouted Aruka again, it's that I have the Kaiubi inside me is it? Asked Naruto innocently, Satsuki is shocked at this, Natsuki is surprised that Naruto knows about his burden, Aruka's jaw drops at this, it's that the Kaiubi is inside, okay when and how? Mizuki's crazed look turns into a shocked one, I am face to face with him when I was five years old, I was being beaten by those bloodthirsty savages that wanted me dead. Answered Naruto. That threw Aruka, Natsuki and Satsuki in through a loop, could the Kaiubi be corrupting him? There isn't any signs of that at all they thought, if you guys are thinking if the Kaiubi is corrupting me, he is not, me and him are in good terms. Said Naruto, what? They shouted. You don't seem to get it, you are the Kaiubi. Said a crazed Mizuki, I know I have red hair and whisker marks, but I have blue eyes not red. Said Naruto in a bored voice, that's it, I'll kill you where you stand. Shouted Mizuki and he chucks a giant shurikian at Naruto, but then Naruto disappears in red smoke with a bamf and reappeared behind Mizuki, that surprised them, that wasn't a shunshin he just did now, it was something else they thought, and Naruto then grabs Mizuki by the head. Surrender, or die. Ordered Naruto, and Mizuki snarls I'd rather die. And Naruto sighs sadly, alright, I didn't want to result to this, but you leave me no choice. He said, and his eyes then glow dark purple, and Mizuki then starts to scream out in pain. Then the screaming stops and the light in his eyes dull, Naruto's eyes stop glowing and lets go of Mizuki, Mizuki's body just drops to the ground with a thump, Aruka, Natsuki and Satsuki are shocked that Naruto killed someone, then Naruto goes to a nearby bush and vomits. You alright Naruto? Asked Aruka, first kill. Answered Naruto. What did you do to him? Asked Natsuki, I shut down his mind, he is now dead. Answered Naruto. How did you do that? Asked Satsuki, and before Naruto could say anything, a group of Anbu show up, excellent work in stopping Mizuki Naruto, but Hokage-sama wants to see you, Iruka, Natsuki and Satsuki in his office now, we will take the scroll back to where it belongs. Said the Anbu captain. Of course. Answered Naruto, and they go to Hiruzen's office and they are standing in front of Hiruzen's desk, I want to thank you for for finding Mizuki, and I want to thank you Naruto for putting him down, who knows what could happen if he succeeded. Said Hiruzen, my pleasure Hokage-sama said Naruto. Naruto, how were you able to do all that stuff, stopping the shurikens in midair, teleporting behind Mizuki and shutting down his mind? Asked Iruka, Naruto and Hiruzen look at each other and they sigh, I'll activate the privacy seals. Said Hiruzen and he activates the seals. What we are gonna tell you is top secret, so we want you to promise to never reveal it to anyone. Said Hiruzen, we promise. Said Iruka, Natsuki and Satsuki, okay, Naruto tell them, I'll fill in what you didn't add in. Said Hiruzen. Of course Hokage-sama, you see, I have three very rare Keke Genkes that are thought to have died out 50 years ago. Said Naruto, Iruka has a good idea, but Natsuki and Satsuki are confused, what are they? Asked Natsuki. They are telepathy, magnetism manipulation and teleportation. Said Naruto, and they are shocked all the way to the core, when did you get those three Keke Genkes? Asked an extremely shocked Aruka, Kaiubi told me about them, and I told Hokage-sama about them, and he had Anoichi-sama train me in telepathy, and Hokage-sama trained me in the ways of the shinobi, the secrets of magnetism manipulation and teleportation. Explained Naruto. How long have you had them? Asked Satsuki, I've had them for ten long years, they are my greatest weapons, I'm the only one with those three Keke Genkes that exists right now. Said Naruto. So, does your chakra ever run out when you use them a lot? Asked Aruka, no, they don't require chakra at all. Answered Naruto that shocked all three of them. What? They yelled, but that's impossible, all Keke Genkes require chakra for them to work, so how are these three different? Asked Natsuki. The answer is that the other Keke Genkes are required for the entire body to use chakra, but not these three, they only need one body part for them to work, and that is the brain. 
explained Naruto, but Naruto, how did you know everything about us and Hinata, we want the real answer? Asks Itsuki. Naruto sighs I used my telepathy on you three, my telepathy not only gives information on the ones I scan, but also lets me see their family tree, even lets me scan their memories. He answered. So that's how you know all about us, but why keep it hidden? Asked Natsuki, because I don't want the civilian council finding out about my KK Jen case, if they found out then they would try and put me in the craw against my will to make Konoha unstoppable. Answered Naruto. That is why I keep my secrets hidden from them, so they think I'm nothing but a scapegoat for them, other than you three, the others who know are myself, Siratobi-sensei, Inoichi-sama, Danzo-sama and the Ichirikus. Continued Naruto. So you don't want them finding out, because they think the Konoha should be an unstoppable village. Asked Uruka, that is correct. Said Naruto. Okay Naruto, your secret's safe with us. Said Natsuki, thank you. Said a grateful Naruto, what about Jiraiya, should he know? Asked Natsuki, who? Asked Naruto, our godfather. Answered Natsuki. Naruto turns to Hiruzen and asks mind if I look into your memories to find out who Jiraiya is Sirotobi sensei And Hiruzen says not at all. Naruto looks into Hiruzen's memories and finds Jiraiya talking to Minato and the elders, the toads told me that the child of prophecy will be born and either bring peace or destruction to the elemental nation, I believe it is to destry the elemental nations, that means I will have to try and seal up the powers of the child of prophecy, said memory Jiraiya. The child will be a magnificent weapon to Konoha to show dominance to other nations, no one will stop us, said memory Minato. Naruto returns to the real world, Jiraiya is too obsessed with the child of prophecy, he thinks that the child of prophecy will destroy the elemental nation, the child of prophecy is me, he knows that the child of prophecy is the Kaiubi Jinchuriki. He explained. How so? Asked Hiruzen, he wants to seal up my powers when he gets the chance, that means my Keke Jin case. Said Naruto, Hiruzen smiles and says there is a problem for him Naruto, thanks to your telepathy, Fuinjutsu is useless against you. Ah, sucks for him. Laughed Naruto. Okay, you guys need to get some sleep, tomorrow is the team placements, and Naruto this will be a surprise for you when you are on a team you are put in. Said Hiruzen, what surprise? Asked Naruto, don't even think about using telepathy on me to find out, cause that will ruin the surprise. Hiruzen told Naruto. Alright. Said Naruto in a depressed tone, good, dismissed. Declared Hiruzen. And everyone goes home, Naruto heads home and gets into his nighttime clothes and flops on the bed, alright, tomorrow is a new day, better get some sleep. He said to himself and goes into a peaceful sleep. The bee continued. Chapter 3. Gen and Survival Exam. Naruto awakens to the morning light, well, today's the day. He said to himself, he gets up, takes a shower, eats some breakfast and brushes his teeth, he sees his headband on the counter, better take this. Naruto said to himself. He takes his headband and wraps it around his neck and heads out all right, time to head to the academy. Said Naruto. Naruto then teleports to the academy and walks right in and sits down next to Hinata, H. Hi and Naruto K. Kun. Said Hinata, hello Hinata said Naruto with a smile, Hinata blushes at the smile. And then Natsuki sits next to him, hey Naruto she said, hello sis, said Naruto smiling at her making her blush a little. After the other students arrive, they then hear some shrieking, oh great, them. Grown Satsuki and his expected Sakura and Ino barge in, ha I won. Declared Ino, no way I did, hey everyone who won. She asked, and everyone said Ino, ah who asked you? She asked in a sarcastic tone, you're actually the one asked who won, so that's your misfortune. Said Naruto, making Natsuki, Satsuki and Hinata giggle, and the rest of the students laugh at Sakura. Oh 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 burn. Laughed Joji, shut up fatso. She shouted and everybody that knows Joji pale and he gets pissed, I'm not fat, I'm bigband. He growled as he prepared to crush Sakura like a grape and then feels someone grab him by the shoulder. He turns and sees Naruto calm down Choji, you'll get your chance at the Chunin exams when you get nominated for it in a couple months. He said shocking everyone in the room, but Natsuki and Satsuki. How does he know about the Chunin exams coming up in a couple months everyone thought, except for Natsuki and Satsuki who smirk, Naruto knows because unlike you he does his homework on future events both of them thought. Iruka walks in with bandages couple minutes later, and Sakura asks Iruka sensei what happened to you? I had to help take down a traitor who tried to steal the forbidden scroll of sealing, which was Mizuki. Answered Iruka. How did Mizuki sensei turn traitor? Asked Hinata, greed is the answer Hinata-chan. Said Naruto and she blushes at that, and how do you know Baka? Asked Akula Sakura, because Naruto, along with Natsuki and Satsuki helped me take him down. Answered Iruka. Why would they do that? Ask Ino, as service to our village. Answered Natsuki I second that. Agreed Satsuki. 
Alright, now we will do team placements. Team 1 is started Aruka, and after a couple minutes, yeah teams 1 to 6 are not important, so they're lame, Aruka gets to team 7. Team 7 will be Sasuke Chiha, Sakura Hirono he said, and Sakura cheers as she is on the same team as her Sasuke and Kiba in Yuzuka, and your Jonin sensei is Anko Midarashi. Finished Aruka, at this time, Sakura is rubbing it in the other fangirls' faces like a foolish schoolgirl who got on the same team as her crush, man she needs a life. Kiba however is fuming that he isn't on the same team as either of the hot Kanoichi in the class, man he is gonna get killed if his lust gets the better of him. He made is Hinata Hayuga, Shino Abura Mensai, and your Jonin sensei is Kurana Yuhi. Said Aruka, Hinata feels sad that she isn't on the same team as Naruto, as the said young man puts a hand on her shoulder to comfort her which gets her to smile beautifully. Sai along with the rest of the rude Anbu know about the girl's crush on the red head, so Danzo tasked him to make sure that Hinata is well protected. Team 9 is still active, so Team 10 is Ino Yamanaka, Shikamaru Nara and Choji Akamichi, and your Jonin sensei is Asuma Suratobi. And Ino is bummed out that she has a lazy ass and a big bandita thank you, no problem Choji Dodd. There will be a new team and it is called Team 11, and the members are Naruto Uzumaki Namikas, Natsuki Uzumaki Namikas said Aruka, that shocks both Naruto and Natsuki at this, Satsuki Achiha and Yakumo Kurama, and you will have two Jonin instructors, and they are Kakashi Haddock and Kashina Uzumaki finished Aruka. Naruto is surprised at this, guess that was the surprise that Saratobi sensei told me about he thought, Natsuki smiled brightly I'm on the same team as Naruto, and mom is one of my senseis, I can't believe this is happening she thought, Satsuki blushes a little I'm on the same team as Naruto-kun, I hope he accepts my feelings when I tell him how I feel towards him she thought. Ikumo has a curious look on her face I wanna know Naruto better, maybe this is a great opportunity to get me close and talk to him she thought as she blushed a little like Satsuki. Damn it, why does that red-haired bastard get three of the hottest girls in the class, it should be me being on a team with hot girls. Thought an enraged Kiba, and Akamaru shakes his head in embarrassment, muttering about stupid perverted dogmen. Maybe they're getting two senseis because they are bad at some stuff. Said a arrogant Achiha, and Sakura starts to run her mouth yeah, I think they suck pretty bad to get two senseis. Sasuke and Sakura, be nice. Score Naruka, and then says your senseis will pick you guys up in a bit, have a nice day. And the senseis for teams 1 to 6 arrive and pick up their squad members. After 10 minutes of waiting, team 11 is the only team that is left in the room, after the senseis of team 7, 8 and 10, arrive to pick up their genins, and with Anko and Kurinai secretly staring at Naruto with hungry looks and mild blushes on their faces, also having dirty thoughts on wanting to know him better, and then 13 minutes later. Bakashi and Kashina finally walk and our first impression is, you look okay, meet us on the roof said Kakashi, and Kashina is looking at her son Naruto, and has some dirty thoughts wow, Sachi's really gorgeous, my goodness he's even better looking than Minato-kun no bad Kashina, bad, he's my son for crying out loud, but he is so good looking, no why am I even thinking about my Sachi that way. I'm his mother she thought. Naruto smirks at the thought which was unseeable, so, mom has dirty thoughts about me eh, this should be interesting he thought. And they go to the roof of the academy, alright, now that we are here we can introduce ourselves said Kakashi, why don't you start first? Suggested Naruto, very well, I am Kakashi Haddock, my likes, dislikes, hobbies and goals for the future are stuff that I like to keep to myself. Said Kakashi, oh Kakashi, I know all about you, and everything that you went through thought Naruto with a smirk. I am Kashina Uzumaki, my likes are my family, Raymond, training and my friends, I dislike the civilian council for what they did to my Sachi, perverts, rapists, and those who don't see the difference between the kunai and the scroll it is in, my hobbies are training and hanging out with my friends and family. My goals for the future are to become a great Kinoichi and to get my Sachi to forgive me for leaving him in this hellhole. Said Kashina as she said the last part in sadness. Naruto feels pity for the woman, she is really desperate in getting my forgiveness, but I want her to prove to me that she loves me, I'll test her if she loved me he thought. Alright, the red-haired girl is next. Said Kakashi. My name is Natsuki Uzumaki Namikas, my likes are my family, training, Raymond and my friends, I dislike the civilian council for what they did to my brother, perverts, rapists, and those who don't see the difference between the kunai and the scroll it is in, my hobbies are training and hanging out with my friends and family, my goals for the future are walking in the footsteps of my mother. Having a family and wanting my brother to forgive me for what happened on the day he was born. Said Natsuki, just like her mother thought Kakashi. The black-haired girl is next. Said Kakashi. I am Satsuki Achiha, my likes are my friends, training and honor, I dislike the civilians, my brother Sasuke, perverts and rapists, my hobbies are training and hanging out with my friends, my goals for the future are restoring my clan, bringing honor back to the Achiha, having a family, and bringing my brother Itachi back home. Said Satsuki. 
she's the complete opposite of her twin brother Sasuke, I think she can restore the honor of the Achiha clan, thought Kashina. Alright, now the brown-haired girl. Said Kakashi. I'm Yakumo Kurama, I like my Jinjutsu and my friends, I dislike the civilian council, perverts, rapists, and those who don't see the difference between the kunai and the scroll it is in, my hobbies are training in my Jinjutsu and hanging out with my friends, my goals for the future are restoring my clan, having a family, and becoming the greatest Jinjutsu mistress in Konoha. Said Yakumo. She really wants to surpass Kurinai in Jinjutsu does she, I think she can do it, thought Kakashi. Now the red head with the purple headband. Said Kakashi. I am Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze, I like training, Raymond started Naruto, damn right. Thought Kashina and Natsuki. Gardening, reading, my precious people and creating new jutsu, I dislike the civilian council, the elder council minus one of them, the Achiha clan, perverts, rapists, corruption, and those who don't see the difference between the kunai and the scroll it is in, my hobbies are training, gardening, learning and creating new jutsu, my goals for the future are restoring my clan. Bringing down the one who destroyed my clan, become Hokage and become a living legend. Finished Naruto. Everyone is surprised at this, Satsuki looks sad that Naruto hates the Ichiha clan, Kishina and Itsuki want to know why Naruto wants to take down the one who destroyed the Uzumaki clan, Yakumo is curious as well, and Kakashi wanted to know as much as they did. Why do you hate the Ichiha clan? Asked Kishina, and Naruto immediately scowls and says because one of them is the one who destroyed the Uzumaki clan. Did you learn the name of this Ichiha? Asked Natsuki, Madara Che. Answered Naruto, and everyone is shocked at this, Satsuki feels terrible because her ancestor destroyed her crush's clan many years ago, wait, where did that come from, oh man. I am falling for Naruto thought Satsuki. I'm so sorry for what my ancestor did to your clan many years ago, I want to restore the honor of the Achiha clan, and the first step is earning the forgiveness of the Uzumaki clan, for what Madara did. Said Satsuki in tears as she bows to get him to forgive her clan for their sins against Naruto's clan, Satsuki, you are one of the first Ichihas to show honor, so you are the one who will restore the Ichiha clan, and so you have my forgiveness. Said Naruto, as do ours. Said Natsuki with Kishina nodding, you got our forgiveness, but you need to earn our respect. Said Kishina. I will do everything I can to earn your respect. Declared Satsuki, I'm sure you will. Said Kakashi I smiling. All right, now that we've introduced ourselves, we will do the real genin exams. Said Kakashi, and Itsuki asks, but we already became genin, why are you saying real genin exams? He means the survival part of the genin exams. Explained Naruto. Naruto's right Natsuki, this way we can weed out the weakest links and take in the strong. Said Kakashi, more like we gotta pass by using teamwork caught Naruto. Now we would like you to be at the Team 11 training grounds at 8am and try to skip breakfast or you'll puke during the exams said Kakashi, and he along with Kashina leave, not before Kashina catches some glances at Naruto because of his looks. I know that he wants us to skip breakfast so they can make the exams harder for us, well sucks to be him cause I read his mind thought Naruto with a smirk, Natsuki notices the smirk and asks what's with the smirk. Have you figured something out? And Naruto looks at her, he wants us to skip breakfast so the exams can be harder for us and easier for them, so I suggest that we fight on a full stomach to keep our energy. He said. So eat breakfast so we have enough energy for the exams. Asked Satsuki, exactly, now let's prepare for the exams tomorrow. Said Naruto, and all three of them nod, they leave for home. The next day at 8am. Naruto got to the training grounds with a belly full of food and sits down to meditate, after a couple minutes, his team members come with stomachs full of food and they come across a scene that they have never seen before, Naruto was levitating while meditating. Whoa, how is he doing that? Thought Yakumo, this must be one of the abilities to Naruto Kun's telepathy thought Natsuki and Satsuki, Naruto opens his eyes and levitates back down to the ground, how did you do that? Ask Yakumo with stars in her eyes, I'll tell you after the exams Yakumo-chan, I promise. Naruto said to her. Yakumo pouts cutely and mutters you better. Which gets Naruto to smile. And Kishin arrives, hey everyone, are you ready for the survival exams? She asked, and Naruto says we are, but where is Mr. Pervert? And Kashina giggles at the nickname for Kakashi, you know, that is actually a good nickname for that pervert. She said while giggling. Meanwhile near the academy. Ah you. Sneezed a certain masked perverted Jonin sensei as he is reading a orange book, oh boy, not that book again. Someone must be talking about me, maybe it's a pretty girl. He said to himself with a perverted giggle that can make Jureya proud. Back at the training grounds. Kashina gets a feeling and it gets her in a bad mood for some reason I feel like I want to give Kakashi a broken nose. She said to herself. Uh, mom? Asked Natsuki in confusion, wah. Oh right, I'll go get him. Said Kashina. 
after 20 minutes, Kashina returns dragging Kakashi by the hair as the said ninja was trying to get Kashina's hand to let go of his hair, Kashina puts Kakashi down, and then the temperature drops to below freezing, now Kakashi, if you are late again for the rest of the team training and meetings, then I will burn your precious books in the fireplace. And then shove my foot so far up your ass you'll think twice about it, am I clear? Asked Kashina in an oddly sweet voice with a smile that promised death, similar to the one that Captain Anahana does to make sure no one gets hurt in Squad 4 barracks. The Kashi is sweating like crazy from fear and nods, the four genin get shivers of fear in their spines, the shiver in Naruto's spine however was different, I think I just got a boner from that threat from mom to Kakashi sensei, thought Naruto, in the seal, a certain tailed beast is cheering for Kashina for the threat that she gave Kakashi, Kaiubi heard Naruto's thought and does a fox-like grin. Naruto-kun is starting to get attracted to Kashina-chan, oh I am so gonna tease him when he finds out my true gender thought Kaiubi. She knows that Naruto is a telepath, but Kaiubi is thankful that Naruto can't read a tailed beast's mind, because it was impossible for him to do so, thank Kami that Naruto-kun can't read my mind, nor any other tailed beast mind, then he would know my true gender, before I can tell him she thought in relief. Kakashi gets up and says alright, now that we are here, we can start the survival exam, now you four need to get these bells from us. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough out Natsuki who is nervous, Naruto on the other hand smirks which is unseeable too easy, but I wanna see if mom really loved me, I know, I'll put her in an illusion of me as a 12 year old child all lowly and sad that no one would help he thought. You're going to test her heart or you ask Kaiubi inside his head, yup, I want to see if she loved me at all, to see if she regrets her choice thought Naruto, okay, just don't go overboard with it, said Kaiubi, alright. Thought Naruto again. You four have until noon to get the bells, when we set the timer you will need to get the bells until the timer goes off. Explained Kakashi, alright, now begin. Said Kashina. And they scatter into the bushes, or in Naruto's case the trees, alright, mom will be the first that I will be going for to pass this test, I'll get the bells from her when she is caught in the illusion he thought. Kakashi's location. Kakashi is waiting on the genin to come at him, they are pretty good hiders, but I can still sense them he thought, and then they jump out and go for him, Kakashi notices something, Naruto is not among them. Naruto must have went after Kishina-sama, and these three are going after me thought Kakashi, and then Satsuki goes through some hand signs fire style. Fireball jutsu she called out and blasts Kakashi with it, and he dodges, then does some hand signs of his own, water style. Water shark bomb jutsu he called out. And a water shark charges at Natsuki, Satsuki and Yakumo, Natsuki however then does hand signs earth style. Mud wall she called out and a wall made of earth comes out of the ground and blocks the jutsu, and then Kakashi goes underground, the three are searching for him, and then from the ground, Kakashi grabs Natsuki's ankle earth style. Headhunter jutsu. And then Natsuki is pulled into the ground up to her neck. Kakashi jumps out of the ground and says nice try, your teamwork is flawless, but it is not enough to defeat me. And then from behind, Yakumo casts a Jinjutsu on Kakashi, and Kakashi is in horror that he is seeing his precious book being burned by the girls, I shall avenge thee. He cried out. As he charges, Natsuki appeared behind Kakashi as she finished the hand signs water style. Water prison Jutsu she called out, and Kakashi is now trapped inside the water prison, while he is imprisoned, the girls then charge for the bell seeing their chance, and as they got closer, Kakashi then poofs into smoke, and a log is in his place. Natsuki gets annoyed oh come on, he just had to use the substitution jutsu. She complained, Satsuki's eyebrow is twitching in anger damn it, I really hate it when they use that jutsu she thought. Ikumo is annoyed too, but then she hears something in the bushes in the bushes. She called out to her fellow teammates and they charge for the bushes, but they see a rabbit, they face fault into the ground. Dry incense for him next time Yakumo. Said Natsuki in annoyance, Yakumo rubs the back of her head and giggles in embarrassment sorry. She said. They hear laughing in the trees, and they see Kakashi laughing hysterically, Natsuki gets mad and yells you think this is funny. And Kakashi through breath says no, ha ha ha, it's not funny, ha 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 it's hilarious, ha 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 ha. And he continues to laugh like crazy. Then cries out in pain as he gets kicked in the balls, which was thanks to Natsuki, let's see if you think getting kicked in the balls is funny. She said in embarrassment, and then they grab the bells. Ha, ah, we win. Laughed Yukumo, and Kakashi still in pain, says yeah, I guess you did, but Naruto is doing his test with Kishina-sama, she will be tougher than me. And Natsuki says I know, Nai-chan wanted to fight her for some unknown reason. Okay, let's wait at the wooden posts for them. Said Kakashi, and the girls say hi. And they go to the meeting area and the training grounds to wait for Naruto and Kishina. Kishina's location at the beginning of the exam. Kashina is waiting to see who will come after her, and to her surprise Naruto charges at her, Nerichan is going for me, this should be easy, no I can't underestimate him, I don't know his abilities she thought. 
Bishina sees it is only Naruto, so the girls decided to go after Kakashi, I get to face my Sachi, this is good, now I can find out what abilities he has she thought again. Naruto then jumps and then pulls out a shuriken and throws it and lastly does a couple hand sign shuriken shadow clone jutsu he called out and then the single shuriken multiplies into 20 shurikens and are headed straight for her, but then she gets her swords out and deflects all of them. You'll have to do better than that Naruchan. She said, Naruto smirks at the name she gave him with a tiny blush on his face, I'll need to wear her out, but Yuzumakis have a lot of energy and chakra, so this is gonna take a while he thought. Naruto then makes a couple hand signs fire style. Dragon flame bombs and then blasts a giant bullet of fire from his mouth at her, this shocked her, Minato-kun was never able to use fire style jutsu, and neither have I, what secrets is he hiding Kashina thought. Kashina then goes through hand signs and calls out water style. Water wall, and she blocks the jutsu with a wall of water, Naruto then with a bamf, teleports behind Kashina, and says hey. And she turns around. Kashina sees Naruto and is surprised, how did he get behind me? She thought, and then Naruto's eyes glow sinister black, and everything is all blank. But the, where am I? Kashina asked herself, she looks around and sees the village it must be a Jinjutsu, I need to break it. She said, and tries to dispel it, but nothing happens, she tries again, and still nothing happens. How, is isn't breaking, so it isn't a Jinjutsu she thought, and then she hears crying and goes to see what it is, and to her horror, it was Naruto as a 12 year old, covered in blood and wounds, my baby she thought in tears, find it. Called out a voice, she looks and sees villagers searching for something, where are you demon brat? Called out another, and Kashina realizes that they are after Naruto, and the said child runs and one of them sees him. Here's the demon, let's kill him. Shouted the pink-haired woman, and Kashina sees that the woman is Mibuki Hirano, the woman that hated her ever since she and Minato got together, that hag must be after my baby Kashina thought. She then goes to stop them, and beats the hell out them, leave him alone, and never come back. She screamed, and they leave, Kashina then turns and sees Naruto crying in an alley. She walks up to him and says Naruto, and the boy looks at her with tears running down his face, Naruto, I'm your mother, I will protect you. She said. Kashina then lends out a hand for Naruto to take, and the child slowly reaches for it, then the child turns into what he looks like in four-tailed form, he is growling and snarling at her, she recoils and covers her face, you think I abandoned you, but I would never do that. I swear Minato forced me to break the sacred Yuzumaki way that states that Yuzumakis never turn their backs on their fellow clan members, ever. She said in sadness. Naruto is watching this through his telepathy and sees that Kishina is trying to get to him, how did dad force mom to break the sacred Yuzumaki way? He thought and looks into her memories to find out. In Kishina's memories. Naruto sees memory Minato and memory Kishina on the day they left him, no, I will not, repeat not leave him in the village, it's against the sacred Yuzumaki way to abandon their own flesh and blood. Memory Kishina screamed at memory Minato. Kishina, please listen to me, the village will treat him like hero, I promise you that I made sure that the villagers will treat him like a hero. Said memory Minato with one hand on his chest and the other in the air. Naruto narrows his eyes at memory Minato, he senses lies in the voice, and he had Kashina fooled, but she wasn't convinced, but what if they treat him harshly? She asked, and Minato says I told Suratobi to make them see him as a hero. He said. And how would you know? Asked wailed Kashina, Kashina, I want you to trust me, please. He asked, but Minato-kun started Kashina. Trust me, or else I'll destroy the scroll of sealing from the Uzumaki clan. He said losing his patience, Kashina is shocked, she never dreamed of Minato saying anything like that, you wouldn't. She challenged, and he looks at her with an annoyed look, and Kashina sees that there is no other way, and she looks down in defeat, alright, I'll trust you. She said. Minato hugs her and says thank you Kashina. But in his head which Naruto can't hear perfect, now Naruto will be made to suffer, he will be a powerful weapon for the village. End of memory. Naruto is in shock, his father was the reason he suffered all along, Minato, you will suffer for this. He shouted in his head, and Kaiubi wakes up from the volume of the shout what are you shouting for, I'm trying to sleep. Kaiubi yawned sorry Kaiubi, I saw that Minato wanted me to suffer all along, he said to him. Show me the memory. Said Kaiubi, and Naruto shows the Biju the memory and Kaiubi snarls when I get my claws on him, I'll make him feel like that he shouldn't have used a shadow clone to seal me into you. Yes, I want to kill him, but I will wait until he reveals his true nature and plans for me thought Naruto. Yes Kit, let's wait until he gets his evil intentions discovered, till he steps into his course of making Kanoha unstoppable, he will be brought to justice. Said Kaiubi, alright Kaiubi. Thought Naruto, and Kaiubi goes back to sleep. Naruto then uses his magnetism manipulation to get the bell from Kashina's belt, and she didn't notice, I pass, but I know they only had three bells, so I'll give this to one of the girls who doesn't have a bell he thought. 
Kashina is still in the illusion trying to get to her son Naruto, she is in tears now, Naruto, I'm sorry I wasn't there for when you needed me, and to help you bear the burden of you being a Jinchuriki, but I'm here now, I want to teach you, get to know you, just please let me help you. She pleaded. The illusion of Naruto is still growling and snarling at her, but the real Naruto is now starting to cry, Naruto please, I want to be there for you from now on, me and your sister, I want us to be a family again, give us a chance please. She said while crying as she fell to her knees. Naruto for the first time in 10 years, cried in sadness, and he then releases the illusion, and goes to Kashina mother. He said and he hugs her, and she gladly hugs him back in a tight grip, their crying stops, and they look at each other, I forgive you. Said Naruto in a soft voice. Kashina has a smile that she hasn't done since Naruto was born, she now felt hopeful again, I never wanted any harm to come to you. She said softly, I enjoy watching the scene where Dante successfully rescues Beatrice from the inferno in the animated movie Dante's Inferno, that always warms my heart. Naruto then waves the bell in front of her, she gets surprised and reaches for her belt and finds it gone, what was that Naruto-chan, what did you do? Asked Kashina, and Naruto says I'll tell you at Hokage Tower in private, I promise you that. Alright Naruto-chan, I'll let it slide until we're at Hokage Tower with the other four, let's get to Kakashi and your teammates said Kashina, and they walk to the wooden posts and they see them there, what took you so long? asked Kakashi. Naruto got me with a Jinjutsu that even I couldn't break. Explained Kashina, and Kakashi pales at this, if Naruto had a Jinjutsu like that, then not even Minato can break free from it. Kakashi notices the bell in Naruto's right hand, I see he got the bell from you. He said and Kashina pouts at that, don't rub it in. She grumbled. Well Naruto, what are you going to do with the bell? Asked Kakashi, Naruto looks at his teammates and sees that Satsuki doesn't have a bell, and to their surprise, he tosses the bell to her, I'll give it to Satsuki-chan, and the true meaning of the test was teamwork. He said, and both Kakashi and Kashina are in shock at this, Natsuki, Satsuki and Yakumo are surprised as well. How did you know that Naruto? Asked Kakashi, and Naruto smirks, and says I've known all along, I just chose to keep it to myself, and I see that the girls got you together. And Kakashi is now in total shock that this genin figured it out so easily. Then you all pass. Said Kakashi, and Kashina says yes, all four of you. And they are happy that they passed, we will tell Hokage-sama that you passed. Said Kakashi, and Kashina then says, but I want all four of you to come with us when we do. That got Kakashi's attention, why? He asked, and Kashina says you'll see. They head to Hokage Tower, and the senseis are in there telling Hiruzen the results for their team evaluations. Team 1 failed, they're so lazy. Said a Jonin, same with us, but they were lazy and not getting along well. Agreed the other Jonin, Team 7 passed, they need to start getting along, the Ichiha Brad and Inuzuka boy charged in without thinking, they kept on running their mouths about how they're so great when they're actually not. Said an annoyed Anko. Here is in size and annoyance those two are embarrassments to the village he thought, Team 8 passed, Hinata can use some help and confidence, Shino was great, and so was Sai, both of them supported Hinata all the way. Said Kurunai. Team 10 passed, Ino can be bossy, but still is a good teammate, Shikamaru can be lazy, but he was a genius, Choji did great, they will be the next generation of the Ino Shikacho formation. Said Asuma. Everyone looks at Kakashi and Kashina, Team 11 passed with flying colors, Natsuki, Satsuki and Yakumo came at me like a team, but I had a nice laugh at their tactics, Naruto went after Kashina-sama and won, thanks to Naruto, the team now knows that teamwork is the key. Said Kakashi, I second that. Said Kashina. That shocked everyone, Kakashi never passed a team, and now he did, very good, now all Jonins are dismissed, except for Kakashi, Kishina, Team 11, Anko, Kurinai and Asuma. Said Hiruzen, and the Jonins leave, and the said Jonins stay in the office as Hiruzen activates the privacy seals. Alright Kishina, explain how Naruto defeated you? Asked Hiruzen, well, Naruto was unleashing some jutsus at me, and I dodged and blocked them, but then Naruto somehow got behind me quickly, and lastly he got me in a jinjutsu that even I couldn't break free. She explained. Everyone except Kakashi and Hiruzen has different reactions, Asuma was in shock, Kurinai has stars in her eyes at the mention of Jinjutsu, Anko is in awe at this, and Naruto's three teammates are surprised at that, what did you see? Asked Kakashi. Kashina gets a sad look that everyone catches, are you okay Kashina-sensei? Asked Kurinai, and Kashina says it's gonna be hard to talk about. And Hiruzen looks at Naruto and asks what did she see Naruto? She saw me as a 12-year-old being chased by the civilians that wanted me dead, she fought them and won and tried to get to me. He said, and then what happened? Asked Asuma, she reached out for me, and then I transformed into a beast with four tails, and then growled and snarled at her. Naruto explained. You tested her heart, didn't you? Hiruzen asked, getting confused looks from the senseis and Yukumo, and widened eyes of realization from Natsuki and Satsuki, yup. 
he answered. What do you mean Hokage-sama? Asked Kurenai, and Hiruzen says the privacy seals are already activated, so you can tell them Naruto. And Naruto says alright, what I'm gonna tell you is classified as top secret, so as we told Natsuki, Satsuki and Aruka, no one else must know. Why is that? Asked Asuma, I have three very rare Keke Jin case, they are thought to have died out many years ago. Explained Naruto. What are they? Asked Anko, and Naruto explains what they are with Hiruzen adding in the details that Naruto forgot to mention, the reactions are different, Asuma is beyond shocked, Kurenai and Anko have hearts in their eyes, which has never happened with some of the Ice Queens of Konoha, I'll explain why their reaction is hearts in their eyes at the end of the chapter. Bishina covers her mouth in shock, she never thought and dreamed in a million years that her son Naruto would have the three rarest Keke Genkase in the elemental nations, Kakashi is surprised as well, because his sensei's son had three extremely powerful and rare Keke Genkase and Yakumo had stars in her eyes. I always thought those three Keke Genkase were a myth, but now Konoha has someone with telepathy, magnetism manipulation and teleportation. Said a shell-shocked Asuma. I should have never agreed with Minato on leaving Naruto in the village, I would have helped him with them, and Kaiubi isn't corrupting Neri-chan at all, Kaiubi not once gave Naruto any trouble, I guess me and Minato really did train Natsuki chan for nothing. Said a guilty Kashina. That's impossible, I never thought that those Keke Jinkase would return. Said a surprised Kakashi, oh I am so gonna get to know him better thought both Kurenai and Anko in happiness. Wow, I never thought Naruto-kun was the only one who had three really rare Keke Genkase thought Yakumo with stars in her eyes and a blush. But dad, why keep it a secret? Asked Asuma, remember the civilian council. Said Hiruzen, those who know that the civilian council is corrupted get angry, you mean if they find out, then they will try and force my Neruchan into the craw against his will. Said Kashina in anger. Yes, and minus Danzo, the elder council will try and get them to win. Said Hiruzen, what about Danzo? Asked Anko, Danzo is on our side now, thanks to him Naruto knows the darkest secret of telepathy. Said Hiruzen. And what would that be? Asked Kashina as the others who don't know including Naruto teammates are curious about it. The rarest telepathic ability of them all, the ability to copy Jutsu and other Keke Genkase. Said Hiruzen, what? They shrieked, thanks to the privacy seals their screams are made deaf to the rest of the village. You mean telepathy has a rare ability that allows the telepath to copy Jutsu and other Keke Genkase. Asked Asuma still in shock, Hiruzen smirks and says yup, and here's the real kicker, the Sharingan can copy Jutsus, but not other Keke Genkase, telepathy can make the Sharingan look like a joke. Everyone who didn't know, their jaws drop to the floor, they look at Naruto, and Anko says, you really are the most unpredictable ninja, I know that you will be a legendary shinobi. And Naruto smiles which makes the girls blush at the smile he has a handsome smile. The girls thought, thanks Anko, I hope you straighten out your genins. Said Naruto, Anko grins and says I plan to. As she cracks her knuckles. Now that you've been told, Naruto and myself want you to keep this SSS rank secret, only Naruto and I can reveal it, do you guys understand? Said Hiruzen, and the senseis, Kishina and Yakumo say we understand and we promise. Hiruzen smile good, dismissed. He said. Everyone then leaves, alright, Team Eleven gets to start their first mission tomorrow. Said Kakashi, Kishina grins and says that's right, so you four need to be full of energy when the missions start. Hi sensei. Said the genin, and they start to leave, Naruto. Said Kishina, and Naruto turns around, what is it? He asked. I would like you to move back into the Namika's household, please for me. She lightly pleaded, and Naruto looks surprised at that you mean I don't have to live in an apartment where the civilians will try and destroy everything. He asked, yes. Answered Kishina, then the answer is yes. Said Naruto with a smile, that made Kashina very happy and she hugs him. Thank you for giving me and your sister a chance. She said happily, of course, but I will need you two to be careful around dad said Naruto. Kashina gets confused and asks why. And Naruto says I'm a little suspicious of him, he doesn't seem like someone that I can trust. Now that I think about it, he did threaten to destroy the scroll of sealing of the Uzumaki clan, before we left you in the village, I have some suspicion of my own around him said Kashina, so you'll tell Natsuki to be careful around him. Asked Naruto, yes, I planned on telling her to be careful since the day you were born. Said Kashina. Good, let's go home. Said Naruto, and they go to Namika's manor to end the day and begin the new day tomorrow. The be continued. Chapter 4. Mission to Wave Part Number 1, Revelation. It's a beautiful morning in Kanoha, and a small animal figure is walking in the forest, however luck was not on its side, as four more figures are waiting for the perfect time for the catch. This is Greyhound and Red Devil, do you have the target in sight? Asked Kakashi with Kashina next to him. Red Sword Mistress in position, we have eyes on the target. Said Natsuki. Black Shadow in position, target just 5 meters from us. 
said Satsuki. Lady Jinjutsu in position, yes the target is in sight. Said Yakumo. Mastermind in position, target has been spotted. Said Naruto. Right, the target is beginning to go on the run, go. Commanded Kishina. The genins jump for the animal figure, and the animal begins to run away, but Naruto with a bamf, teleports in front of the animal, he looks it in the eyes and hypnotizes it, sleep. Commanded Naruto and the animal went to sleep. The animal is now sleeping in his arms, and Naruto walks over to his teammates, and Sensei's got the target, Tora the missing cat has been caught. Said Kakashi. Back at Hokage Tower. Oh Tora, thank you so much for finding my cat. The woman cried in happiness as she began to show a little too much affection to the poor cat, um excuse me, I apologize for interrupting your happy reunion, but it seems the Tora thinks that you're showing a little too much affection, so if possible that can you take it easy and pet Tora lightly, for the cat's sake, please. Said Naruto. Oh Tora, is that why you're always running off away from me, mommy will be gentle to you from now on. The lady said, and the cat is now happy. The lady walks home, and the Hokage says thanks to you Naruto, the shinobi don't have to worry about catching Tora again, at least now they'll be able to relax for once. I hope so. Said Naruto. Ah oh man, that was the third time we had to catch that damn cat, at least that we don't have to catch that cat again. Said Natsuki in annoyance. I know, I don't think I can handle another D-rank mission, because that is just what civilians need to do, but they're just too damn lazy. Agreed Satsuki. I'm sorry you too, but newly made genins need to start off with D-ranks until they are considered to be able to handle C-rank to higher rank missions. Said Aruka. Suddenly, Team 7 come in after they finished another D-rank mission, Sasuke being the snobby and arrogant spoiled brat that he is had the balls to say I'm sick of the D-ranks old man and Ichiha elite like me needs a higher rank mission so the Ichiha isn't considered weak. And Kiba says for once I agree with the Ichiha and Alpha like me needs a higher rank mission to show others who the dominant one is with Sakura agreeing to their bullshit. Come on Sasuke, they just don't think that you're ready for a mission like that yet. Said Satsuki trying to calm her brother down, scree Richa disgrace. Snarled Sasuke. Satsuki looks like she is ready to cry, her teammates are glaring at him for that insult hey, that was so uncalled for. Snap Naruto. This off dope, you're not part of a clan, so you're a clanless nobody. Sasuke snapped back at Naruto as Natsuki and Kishina are comforting Satsuki, Naruto then releases a lot of killing intent that causes nearly everyone to fall to their knees, except the Hokage and his teammates. You just dug your own grave, and by the way, that arrogant mouth of yours will get you and your teammates killed, along with Dogboy's lust. Growled Naruto. That's enough you two, I will not stand it if two of Konoha's shinobis are fighting in my office, now stop fighting and don't look at each other. Roared Hiruzen as he slammed his fist onto his desk. Sasuke and Naruto glare at each other and face the Hokage, if you want a C-rank mission so bad Sasuke, then you and your team will get one. Hiruzen said in an annoyed voice, Sasuke and Kiba smirk about time old man. Said Kiba, and that got him a smack on the back of the head by Anko, Kiba be nice. She scolded. Bring in Tazuna. Ordered Hiruzen, and an old drunk walks in and looks at them, what is this, you expect these kids to defend me, the pink haired one looks like she can't even fight properly, the dog boy looks like someone who would kill first ask questions later, the duck butt looks like he'll just shit himself, the lady with the leather coat is the one who I believe will do a better job. Said Tazuna. Naruto, Natsuki, Satsuki, Yakumo and Kashina snicker at the nicknames for Sasuke, Sakura and Kiba, as the said genin get pissed, hey, don't insult the might of the Achiha clan. Barked Sasuke with Sakura adding her bullshit, er I mean saying yeah, don't insult Sasuke Kunner his clan. It's not only them Tazuna, Team 11 here will help defend you as well. Said Hiruzen, and Tazuna looks at Team 11, they look like they can handle themselves, especially the red haired boy. Said Tazuna giving Team 11 a thumbs up, making them chuckle, while Team 7 minus Anko was fuming at the fact that the old fart gave them a better reputation. Meet me at the gates tomorrow at 9 am said Tazuna, and he leaves, Team 7 leaves as well, except Anko telling them that she needed to speak with the Hokage for the moment, and they left. Naruto however had his eyes closed the entire time, and he says it's not a simple C-rank mission, it's gonna be risen to an A-rank mission. Everyone looks at Naruto, you read his mind, didn't you? Asked Hiruzen. Sure did. Answered Naruto with a smirk, what did you learn from his mind? Asked Kishina, he is Tazuna, master bridge builder of the Wave Village, has a daughter named Tsunami, and a granddaughter named Ain. their village is under the tyranny of Gato of Gato Corporation, and the bridge is the only way to make Gato's company come crashing to a halt. Explained Naruto. That surprised everyone in the room, thank god that you have telepathy Naruto, what would we do without it? Said Aruka with happiness. What are you gonna do Sirotobi-sensei? Asked Naruto surprising Kishina that, here isn't trained you himself. 
she thought, yes mom, but it wasn't only him, but also Inoichi Yamanaka, Saratobi sensei trained me in magnetism manipulation and teleportation, as well as the way of the shinobi, Inoichi sama trained me in telepathy, hell even Kaiubi decided to train me. But it was in chakra control Naruto spoke to her telepathically getting an even more shocked look from her. I'll send teammate with you as extra protection, they can help with protecting Tazuna. Said Hiruzen. Very clever move Saratobi sensei it seems getting your backbone back has also given you your smarts back. Said Naruto in humor, haha, very funny Naruto. Said Hiruzen being sarcastic. Oh you know that it's funny. Said Naruto waving his hand getting giggles from the girls including Kashina and Anko, Kakashi is snickering, and so is Aruka, well Hiruzen starts to chuckle. Alright, be at the gates tomorrow so the mission will begin, dismissed. Said Hiruzen. They leave and Naruto decides to head to a weapons shop for Shinobi and Kinoichi called Higurashi Weapons, he sees Isao at the counter, hello Naruto, what will it be? Ask Isao, oh you know, I'm gonna stock on supplies for a mission which would be C rank, but I have a feeling that it will be more of an A rank. Said Naruto. Oh, take a look around the store and pick out anything that you need. Said Isao, thanks. Said Naruto, and he looks around the store for supplies and gets some, 40 kunais, 40 shurikens, 40 senbans, 40 smoke bombs, 2 katanas and 10 storage scrolls. Isao says the price, I'm not good at telling the difference in money from other places, thanks to Naruto getting some of his clan money, was able to pay for them, pleasure doing business with you. Said Isao, and then something catches Naruto's eye, a display case with a rusty looking pitchfork, it's the Nijibana, what's that? Asked Naruto as he pointed at the display case. Oh that's an old rusted pitchfork, I'll take it down so you can hold it if you want. Answered Isao, sure. Said Naruto. Isao walks over to the display case and takes the pitchfork out and hands it to Naruto, upon touching Naruto's hands, the pitchfork then started to glow ocean blue, and then it started to change, could this pitchfork be? Thought Isao in surprise. The pitchfork stops glowing and it has a new look to it, it now looks brand new, Naruto could feel power radiating from it, it had a silver three-tip spearhead, a ocean blue handle, a green tuff at the bottom of the spearhead, and a metal bottom end that looked like a kid's top, in all my years, I've never seen this weapon with my own eyes. Said Isao with stars in his eyes and all. Is there a problem? Asked Naruto, everything is perfectly fine Naruto, for the weapon in your hands is the legendary weapon called the Nijibana. Said Isao, the Nijibana. Ask Naruto, legend has it that only an Uzumaki pure of heart can use this weapon to its full potential, to an Ichiha however it's useless, the powers it grants is the power of the seas, it can cause earthquakes, and lets you breathe underwater, legend also says that the Nejibana is a weapon blessed by the sea god Poseidon himself, and it's said to be indestructible. Explained Isao, Naruto is in awe at this intel, he has a legendary weapon that only pure-hearted Uzumakis can wield. How much for the Nejibana? Ask Naruto, since you reawakened its power, it's yours to keep free as charged. Said Isao, wow, thank you so much. Said Naruto. Anytime Naruto. Isao said, and Naruto bids him farewell and runs into a girl about a year older than him, and sees her on the ground I'm so sorry, I should have looked where I was going. Said a guilty Naruto as he helped her up, thank you, uh. Said the girl. Naruto, Naruto Yuzumaki Namikas. Said Naruto, that shocked the girl he related to the Yandame. She thought, I'm Tenten Higurashi, my uncle owns the store here. Said the now named Tenten. Nice to meet you. Said Naruto in a friendly tone with a smile making her blush at it, she then sees the Nejibana and gets stars in her eyes, is that the Nejibana, the legendary weapon of the Uzumaki clan? She asked excitedly, yes, yes it is. Said Naruto. Can I hold it? She asked adding the puppy dog eyes, sure Tenten-chan. Said Naruto making Tenten blush madly at the Chan part added to her name, he gives her the Nejibana, and she is squealing like a fangirl who just got kissed by their crush. It's so beautiful, is it yours? Asked Tenten, yes, I just got it here. Said Naruto, here, but how? She asked again, remember the rusty pitchfork? Said Naruto, and Tenten nods, well, when I touched it, it transformed into this. Explained Naruto. Tenten is in awe at this, wow, I really wish that I could see it transform. She said in sadness, seeing this, Naruto then gives her a hug which makes her blush once again, he then whispers into her ear, don't worry Tenten-chan, you'll be able to see the Nejibana in action in the Chunin exams in a couple months. And she widens her eyes, how did he know when the Chunin exams were coming up? And I'm open for some weapon training after my mission, I'll be happy to accept your help in that kind of training Tenten-chan. Naruto added whispering into her ear, but this time it was a flirty voice which makes Tenten a little wet, she was starting to fall in love with this young shinobi, see you later Tenten Haim. He finished whispering in her ear, which makes her blush heavily at the Haim part added to her name this time, he then surprises her with a light and soft kiss on the cheek. 
Benton is now in a full body blush, and she is watching Naruto leave for his home. Her uncle was watching everything from the store with a grin. It now seems that his niece has a crush on the young telepath. Tenton walks into the store and sees her uncle grinning at her looks like somebody's in love. He said teasingly. Benton blushes angrily, shut up. She yelled at him. Back with Naruto. Naruto is walking home and he is thinking, I know that Tentenheim is on a team, and her teammates are Niji Hayuga, the cousin of Hinata Hayuga, and Rock Lee the shinobi, without the ability to mold chakra to use ninjutsu and jinjutsu, but is a specialist in tojutsu, and her sensei is Mido Gai, the green beast of Konoha he thought. And he goes home, and he teleports to his room and goes to bed after he undresses. The next day. Themes 7 and 8 along with Natsuki, Satsuki and Yakumo, are waiting at the gates for the rest of the people, where are they? It's been 10 minutes and Kakashi-sensei, Tazuna-san and Naruto-kun are not here. Complained Satsuki. Don't worry Satsuki-chan, they'll be here, and I'll make sure of it. Said Kashina with the last part becoming a growl, and Natsuki then sees Kakashi and Tazuna, there are Kakashi-sensei and Tazuna-san, but where is Naruto-kun? She asked, I dunno. Replied Shino. Sorry we're late, a black cat crossed our path, so we had to take the long way. Replied Kakashi, that's the lamest excuse I've ever heard. Said an angry Kashina. Then Naruto appears, sorry I'm late, my alarm clock didn't go off, and it was a real pain to pack up my stuff. He said in an embarrassed voice as he rubbed the back of his head. Now that I believe, now that we are here, do we have everything we need? Asked Kashina, question, why is teammate here with us? Asked a brash Kiba, and Kakashi answers that because Hokage-sama decided to give Tazuna sent some extra protection. And that make Tazuna sigh in relief. Now again, do you guys have everything that you need? Asked Kashina again, and they reply by saying hi. Hey, where's your pack Naruto Baka? Sakura asked rudely which rewarded her glares from the female senseis and the girls, I do have my stuff, they're just sealed inside of this scroll. Said Naruto as he patted the scroll, Sakura huffed in anger as she couldn't embarrass Naruto, they accepted his answer, and they walk out the gate and they are walking. Naruto is in the back with the girls while Kiba is in the front, leering at Natsuki, Satsuki and Hinata, and also having lustful thoughts on Kurenai, Anko and Kashina, Naruto heard his thoughts, and telepathically tells the girls and female senseis the thoughts from Kiba's head, and they glare at him making him tremble in fear. They notice the puddles on the road, wow, what complete retards, the demon brothers, Gozu and Maizu, they are hired by Gato of Gato Corporation to assassinate Tazuna to stop him from completing the bridge, thought Naruto as he read their minds. As he predicted, the demon brothers jump out the moment they pass the puddles, their clawed gauntlets wrap around the senseis and rip them to pieces four down. Said Gozu, Sakura screams and team 7, 8 and 11 minus Naruto, get into position and shielding Tazuna who is trembling, Naruto however was calm as a bear and twitched one of his fingers, and the metal gauntlets that were going for the group came to a halt which shocked everyone, especially the demon brothers, it can't be. Thought Maizu. Naruto then gets out one of his katanas and slashes them in the gut, and everyone is shocked to the core, what, no, impossible thought the demon brothers and they drop to the ground, they were dead before they even hit the ground, I really don't like killing, but I will if I have no other choice. Said Naruto in regret, come on out senseis, I know you're hiding in the trees. Called out Naruto. What are you talking about you baka, they're dead. Asked Sakura who was by far the most clueless kanoichi in the elemental nations, look they're fool said Satsuki, and Sakura looks where the senseis were killed and sees a bunch of pieces of logs, they used the substitution jutsu before that happened. Explained Mitsuki. Oh, I knew that. Said a stupid Kiba, no you didn't. Thought everyone in annoyance, and the senseis come out, well done Naruto, you successfully defeated the enemy without putting up much of an effort, and well done to you guys as well, you got into position to protect the bridge builder. Said Kakashi. Sensei, who were those guys? Asked Hinata, and Naruto says the demon brothers, they are rouge ninjas from the mist village, they went rouge after the failed assassination attempt on the Mizukage's life because of a bloodline rebellion. And Sakura arrogantly says Sasuke-kun could do better. Getting groans from the senseis and the members from teams 8 and 11. Tazuna, are you going to tell the truth on why they are after you? Asked Kakashi, and Tazuna begins to sweat I don't know what you're talking about. He lied, really now, you have Rouge Ninjas after you, and they are hired by Gato of Gato Corporation, and their main target is you. Said Naruto. Azuna looks down in shame, alright, you got me, the turret Gato is draining the wave village dry, I don't have enough for an air rank mission, because of how poor we are in wave. He explained, so, anybody want to continue on this mission? Asked Kakashi, and all the genin says hi. And Naruto then takes the gauntlets and seals them into a green scroll, and seals the bodies into a red scroll. What are you doing Baka? Asked Sakura and got glared at by Kashina, what? She asked in cluelessness, he's my son, and Minato's as well. 
said Kashina shocking those who chose to refuse to accept it, Sakura is now looks like she's seen a ghost as she was told that, and she feels that her life was forfeit. You see Sakura, I'm sealing the gauntlets because they'll come in handy someday, and I'm sealing the body so I can get the bounty for the demon brothers. Said Naruto, how high are their bounties? Asked Hinata, they are B-rank rogue ninjas, and their bounty is 500,000 yen. Said Naruto shocking everyone except the senseis. Now we should be heading to Wave, some more of Gato's henchmen might still be out there. Said Tazuna wanting to get to Wave ASAP, and they head down to the Wave village. At Gato's hideout. What do mean they failed, I had good money for them and they failed trying to kill him. Yelled old midget, stop whining. Said a scary voice as he got his huge blade and held it near Gato's throat preparing for the strike. It looks like that I'll have to go and take the old man down myself. Said the tall man, you better, I'm not in the mood for more failure. Warned Gato. Back with the gang. They're taking a boat over to the other side of the huge river, we're nearing the other side of the river, but that is as far as I'm gonna get you. Said the boatman, how long will we have to be on this stinking boat? Complained Kibo little loudly quiet fool, you want them to hear us? Ordered the boatman as he looked around to see if anyone heard, much to his relief, no one did. Sensei, are there any ninjas in the wave village? Asked Sakura, I'm afraid not Sakura, wave doesn't have shinobis nor kanoichis at all. Said Kakashi, why? She asked again, not all villages have ninja Sakura, there are merchant villages and minor villages in the world. Explained Naruto, who asked you Baka. Said Sakura rudely, getting a punch in the back of the head by an angry Natsuki, call my brother Abaka again, and I'll break you into pieces. She warned, I'd like to see you try. Sakura challenged, Natsuki gets a katana out and says let's do it. Sakura is now scared, Sakura, there is something about the Uzumaki clan that you need to know, and it's that every Uzumaki has a bad temper, so never piss an Uzumaki off unless you have a death wish. Said Kakashi, and Sakura quickly agreed getting an image of a very pissed off Uzumaki. Itsuki puts her katana away and glares at Sakura, who is regretting disrespecting Naruto a little, suddenly the bushes start to ruffle and Naruto throws a kunai into the bushes, Naruto walks into the bushes and comes out with a white rabbit, Naruto, you nearly killed a poor defenseless rabbit shrieks Sakura, making everyone except Naruto face fault into the ground, man. She really is an idiot and yet she calls Naruto an idiot. You really are a fool, this rabbit is white, which means it's a winter coat and it's the summer, that means it needs to be brown said Naruto in an annoyed tone making Sakura uneasy added. That means it was raised indoors, it was used as a substitution. Added Satsuki, Kakashi then senses something coming from behind and yells out get down. And everyone gets down with Kakashi pulling Tazuna down. The massive blade spins over them and strikes a tree, and the lone figure is standing on the blade, they all look at him, is somebody gonna tell him that he's standing the wrong way, or is he overcompensating for something? Said Naruto making the girls giggle, and the guys snickering, I admit that was pretty funny, thought Kiba as he snickered with Sasuke. The man gets an anger vein on his head and barks watch he our talking to brat, I could kill you in a heartbeat. And Naruto smirks and says good luck with that. The Kashi walks up and says Abusa Mamachi, the demon of the bloody mist, a rank road ninja, you need to be careful with him. Making some of the genin to get uneasy, Kiba, Sakura and Sasuke to be exact. Zabuza then says Kakashi of the Sharingan Eye, Kurenai the Jinjutsu Mistress, Anko the Snake Princess and Kashina the Red Death of Konoha, did I get them right? Sasuke is shocked at this intel, Sharingan Eye. How can he have the Sharingan, only an Achiha wields that kind of power he thought as he looked at Kakashi could he be? Sasuke thought again. Stand back, Kurenai-san, Anko-san, Kashina-sama and I got this, if he's our opponent, then I'll be needing this. Said Kakashi, the genins look on, and Kakashi pulls up his headband covering his left eye, and it opens to reveal a Sharingan eye, I'm ready. He declared. The genins who don't know gasp, his eye, what is that? Thought Kiba in shock, well, looks like I get to see the Sharingan in action, this is an honor. Said Zabuza, what the hell is the Sharingan? Asked Kiba, a rare power, it only resides in the Achiha, the Sharingan user can instantly see and comprehend any Jinjutsu, Tijutsu and Ninjutsu, and can reflect the attack back at the attacker, the Sharingan is a special and rare form of Dijutsu, however there is more to the Sharingan than that, a lot more. Explained Sasuke. Kiba is in shock, and Zabuza then smirks and says you got it right boy, but you only scratch the surface, the Sharingan can analyze an opponent's technique and then copy it to the smallest detail. And then mist covers the entire forest, as for you Jonin, the assassination unit of the hidden mist, we had a standing order to destroy you on sight, your profile was in our bingo book, they called you, the man who copied over a thousand jutsu, Kakashi, the copy ninja continues Abusa. The genins except for Naruto are in shock at this, what, could our senseis be famous ninjas? Thought Sakura, whoa that's awesome. 
said Kiba in awe, that red-haired boy doesn't seem surprised, it's like he knew about it the whole time and never said anything, I may need to be careful with him thought Zabuza with suspicion. Now, I need to kill you so I can get to the old man. Said Zabuza, getting a look of fear from Tazuna, and the genins minus Naruto, get into position to protect him, much to the surprise of the other genins. Naruto, we need you to stay out of this fight until it starts to get rough for us. Ordered Kakashi, as you wish. Answered Naruto in understanding. Oh, four against one A, this should be interesting. Said an amused Zabuza, and then they start to fight, Kishina, Anko and Kurinai fought clones of Zabuza, while Kakashi fought the real Zabuza. Then Zabuza and his clones make hand signs, water style. Water prison jutsu called out Zabuza and his clones, and the senseis are trapped in spheres of water, damn, he got behind us by going underwater, not good thought Anko. Though, get the bridge builder out of here, he is out of your league, you guys don't stand a chance. Kakashi told the genins, but we won't leave you for. Yelled Sakura, just go, we'll be fine. Shouted Anko. Naruto then walks up and gets into a fighting stance, no, I will not abandon my comrades, it means I won't abandon my senseis at all. He declared, Zabuza is now grinning well, looks like we have a genin who's brave enough to face off a former Anbu of the Mist Village. He said. The genins then pale at that, Zabuza was an Anbu rank shinobi, even the senseis are surprised at this, we know that Naruto received special training from Hiruzen and Inoichi, maybe he will have a better chance at defeating Zabuza thought Kashina in worry. Naruto, get out of there, he's an Anbu rank shinobi, he'll kill you. Shouted Sakura, and Naruto says no, I have received some special training in Konoha, ever since I was 5 years old, now it's time to put my years of training to the test against an Anbu rank shinobi. Said Naruto with a confident smirk. Boy, what is your name? Asks Abusa, I am Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze, son of Minato Namikaze and Kishina Uzumaki and the shinobi who's going to kick your ass. Said Naruto, making Zabuza's eyes widen at this, another Yuzumaki, I thought Kashina was the only Yuzumaki left, I guess there's more still in hitting thought Zabuza in shock. Naruto then goes for his sleeve, pulls it up and reveals a symbol on his left arm, everyone is surprised at this, a seal. Thought the senseis that dope had gotten training in Fuinjutsu, I will need to get him to teach me that power, so I can kill Itachi thought Sasuke in anger. Naruto then bites his thumb and swipes the blood on the seal, and then the seal poofs smoke, as the smoke cleared, everyone is in shock and awe at what they saw, there in Naruto's hands was the famous Nijibana, Naruto gave the Nijibana a few twirls and swipes, is that what I think it is? Thought Kakashi in awe, what, how does he have it? Gurunai screamed in her head from the shock she is in, it can't be thought Zabuza in awe, causing him to lose focus on holding up the water prison jutsu, the Nijibana. Thought Kishina in awe. But the Genins, what, how did he find it? Shouted Natsuki in her mind from shock, no way. Thought Sakura, what is that? Asked Kiba, the Nejibana, a legendary weapon of the Uzumaki clan, it said that only an Uzumaki pure of heart can wield it and use it to its full potential, it grants the wielder the power of the seas. The ability to cause earthquakes and lets the wielder breathe underwater, it said to be indestructible, and legend has it that the Nejibana was blessed by the sea god, Poseidon himself. Explained Sakura. How many legendary weapons of the Uzumaki clan are there? Asked Kiba, there is a total of seven. Said Natsuki. Well brat, looks like I get to fight you in a weapons battle, the Kubakirabacho versus the Nejibana, this battle will be legendary. Said Zabuza with a grin, it will be legendary indeed. Agreed Naruto. Then Naruto and Zabuza clash, the onlookers are in awe that Naruto is going toe to toe with Zabuza, a member of the Seven Swordsmen of the Mist, Naruto then goes through some hand signs fire style. Fireball Jutsu called out Naruto and blows a huge ball of fire at Zabuza. Zabuza then goes throughout some hand signs himself, water style. Water dragon jutsu Zabuza called out. When it was about to hit, Naruto with a bamf, teleported behind Zabuza much to his shock how did you get behind me? He shouted, that's my secret. Answered Naruto with a playful grin, and then grabs his head and reads Zabuza's mind, copying what jutsu Zabuza knew, learning what he did, and about when Zabuza was told to kill Tazuna by Gato. As Naruto was about to finish off Zabuza, two Senban needles flew through the air and struck Zabuza in the side of the neck, causing Naruto to let go, Naruto then looks at where the needles came from, and saw a woman in a mask, I thank you for finding him, I've been hunting him down for months, you have my gratitude. She said. Naruto then checks for a pulse on Zabuza and finds none, a death-like state, that means he must be Zabuza's partner thought Naruto, and then the hunter nin shunshins to Zabuza's dead body, and then shunshins away, and the senseis walk up to Naruto, and Kakashi says well done Naruto, that special training has paid off. And Kashina says you did great Naruto-kun, and I'm surprised that you have the Nijibana, we are going to need an explanation from you mister. Naruto then feels a little light-headed and collapses, Naruto. 
called his teammates, it's alright, he just used up a lot of chakra, nothing that some bed rest can fix. Said Kakashi. Alright, my house is not that far from here, I'll lead you to it. Said Tazuna, and the teams follow him, Naruto was being carried by Kashina, the girls couldn't help but blush at how peaceful Naruto looked, he looked so cute when he's asleep thought the girls. The bee continued. Chapter 5. Mission to Wave. Part number 2, Prepare. Naruto wakes up to the sunlight and finds himself in a bed, he sits up and sees his teammates and senseis by his bedside, how are you feeling Naruto-kun? Asked Natsuki worriedly, Naruto smiles and says a little better. Naruto tries to sit up, but Kishina stops him and gently pushes him back onto the bed near Chan, you need your rest, you suffered chakra exhaustion. She said, Kishina was just as worried as Natsuki, right? Said Naruto. So sensei, who was that girl that defeated Zabuza? Asked Sakura, that was a hunter nin from the mist, they are trained in knowing the human body and its weak points. Answered Kakashi, and then Hinata asks, how come she took the body with her, instead of destroying it on the spot? If she really was a hunter ninja from the mist, then she would have destroyed the body on the spot immediately, but she took it with her because she's his accomplice. Naruto said with a smirk, Sakura was about to berate him about who asked him, but she remembered Natsuki's threat and wisely kept her mouth shut, that's correct Naruto, it seems you were suspicious about her. Said Kakashi with an eye smile. Then a beautiful young woman walks in with a cup of water, here you go, this should help you. She said as she handed the cup to Naruto, thank you ma'am. He said politely, call me Tsunami. Said the now named Tsunami who has a small blush at his looks, sure. Answered Naruto. What are you guys talking about? You demolished that assassin. Said a clueless Tazuna, and Kakashi says here's the truth, Zabuza is still alive. And Sakura, Kiba and Tazuna are in shock, while Tsunami's eyes widen. But Naruto checked his pulse, he said no heartbeat. Said a clueless Sakura, his heart did stop, but that was only a temporary state. Explained Naruto, how did you figure that out Naruto-kun? Asked Natsuki, and Naruto reaches into his pouch and pulls out a Senban needle, this is what that hunter nin used to take Zabuza down, anyone care to guess what this is? Asked Naruto with a smirk. Sasuke gets a look of shock, throwing needles. He said, correct, these are Senban needles and they are used for acupuncture, but the needles struck Zabuza in the neck, putting him in a death-like state. Said Kashina in wisdom. But how did she know which spot to strike for a death-like state? Asked Sakura, Hunter Nin or also Anbu, you see Anbu are trained to know the human body and its weak points, that's what makes Anbu ninjas so terrifying. Explained Naruto. Very good Naruto, maybe you should have been made a Jonin instead of a Genin. Said Kakashi, Hokage-sama is thinking about promoting me after the Chunin exams thought Naruto. How can he be a Jonin, he doesn't even look strong. Asked a clueless Akura, you see, Naruto had received special training from some powerful shinobi so that he can defend himself, Naruto was always been someone who couldn't fight back until the Hokage decided to put a stop to it. Lied Kakashi, but it wasn't a total lie, Kakashi wanted to keep Naruto's unusual Keke Gen case a secret even from these genin. Ah come on, we wanna know. Pleaded Sakura in tears at wanting to know how Naruto was so strong, this made Sasuke very curious about it as well, and Naruto then says Sakura, sometimes it's better not to know, because knowing too much can be bad for you. Neru-chan, how did you come to possess Nejibana, a legendary weapon of the Uzumaki clan? Asked Kishina wanting to know, and Naruto says I got it in a weapons shop in Konoha, one that actually accepts me, I happen to notice this as a rusty pitchfork in a display case, and the owner Isao Higurashi, let me look at it while I held it in my hands, and when it came into my hands. It transformed into this. This made everyone shocked, it shocked Azuna the most because he knows about the legendary weapons of the Uzumaki clan. Okay, can someone tell me what the legendary weapons of the Uzumaki clan are? Ask a really confused Kiba, and Tazuna walks to his desk and bring out an ancient looking book. This will show you everything you need to know about them. Said Tazuna as he gave Naruto the book so he can read what the other weapons are, Naruto opens the book to the page that has the info on the legendary weapons of the Uzumaki clan. Here it is, the legend of the weapons of the Uzumaki clan. Said Naruto, and Itsuki asks, can you read it Naruto-kun? And Naruto says sure can. Over 1000 years ago, an Uzumaki by the name of Totosai watched as his clan members were being used for slavery. Young Totosai wanted to bring peace, love and hope to his clan and to others, so he decided to forge seven magical weapons that could be the backbone for giving the Uzumaki clan so much hope and courage. In his 10 years of forging, Totosai made seven powerful weapons for his clan. Nejibana, the weapon forged from the fang of the legendary sea monster, the Kraken, it can grant the wielder power over the seas, allows the wielder to breathe underwater, cause earthquakes, and is said to be indestructible. 
Zanjutsu, the weapon forged from a moonstone that fell to earth from the moon, it can grant the wielder the ability to stop major bleeding, can enhance the wielder's strength and speed, the ability to make clones at will to outnumber his or her opponent, and grants teleportation powers to the wielder. Iorimeru, the weapon forged from the bones of an ice dragon, it grants the wielder enhanced speed and gives its wielder the ability to generate ice to freeze and obliterate the enemy into pieces. Raijin Jaka, the weapon forged from the ashes of a phoenix, it grants the wielder complete control over fire, can produce a fire so powerful it can be nearly impossible to cut through and put out, a fire that reduces all creation to ash. The Sega, the weapon forged from the fangs of the king of the dog demons, it grants the wielder the ability to slay 1000 lives in one swing, it also has other abilities that the wielder needs to discover. And Sega, the weapon forged from the blood of an archangel losing blood while fighting a demon, it grants the wielder the ability to save 1000 lives in one swing, purify the cursed and heal the sick, even grants the wielder the power to send the most corrupted turrets and enemies to the netherworld and can produce a barrier to protect the wielder. And the most powerful and most terrifying weapon that Totosai ever created. The weapon forged from the fires of hell, the light of the heavens and the life of the earth, it is a sword called Makushiroku, a word that means apocalypse. Makushiroku, it grants the wielder unimaginable power, the ability to alter fate, reality, time and space, and this weapon is the key to the beginning of the apocalypse, and Totosai communicated with the gods that Makushiroku would only be used as a last resort, only to be used if it's absolutely necessary. The gods agreed that Makushiroku would be used when its services would be needed, and Totosai needed to find worthy candidates for these powerful weapons, and he found some in his own clan. Pain Yuzumaki was given the Nejibana, Ichigo Yuzumaki was given Zanjetsu, Toshiro Yuzumaki was given Hayorimaru, Genryusai Yuzumaki was given Raijin Jaka, Inayasha Yuzumaki was given to Sega, and Sesameru Yuzumaki was given to Sega. The six have fought against the powerful foe that was the mastermind who started the slavery of the Yuzumaki clan, his name is Akuma Shadow Oka. The six warriors were closing in on victory when Akuma suddenly unleashed a powerful beast onto the elemental nations, Leviathan. The six Yuzumaki warriors were close to defeat, but Todasai sees this as the perfect moment to use Makushiroku, he finds a perfect warrior of the Yuzumaki clan to defeat the Leviathan, the name of the worthy Yuzumaki is Senso Yuzumaki. With the help of Senso Yuzumaki, the other six were able to defeat Leviathan and banished it into the underworld, hoping that he wouldn't rise again, and Akuma was captured, and the Yuzumakis locked him in a deep dungeon, and Akuma was chained to the floor, but the Yuzumaki clan was afraid that Akuma would escape and terrorize them again, so they sealed him away inside a black coffin. Never to be opened. The seven Yuzumaki were hailed as heroes, and Todasai was granted the status of clan head of the Yuzumaki clan for creating such powerful weapons to save them, he also decided that if Leviathan returns and the evil just as bad as Akuma were to rise to get control of the elemental nations, then one of his descendants would be the one to stop the corruption and the evil in the world. Then many years later, the Yuzumaki clan were ambushed by three of the major villages, Iwa, Kiri and Kumo, with help of the Achihas, thanks to Madara, the Yuzushi Agakar was destroyed. But Todasai who was still alive, escaped with other members of the clan that survived, just before Todasai went into hiding, he ordered his fellow clan members to seal away the weapons and the jutsu of the Yuzumaki clan until the direct descendant of Todasai comes to claim it, but he wanted them to make special hiding spots for the legendary weapons, for no one can use them for their own selfish gains. Todasai himself declared that he would guard Makushiroku until its services are once again needed. So he disappeared into the nations and was never seen again. That's the end of the legend said Naruto, everyone that heard Naruto read the legend are in awe and shock. What happened to Todasai Yuzumaki? Asked Natsuki, and Kishina says well, some say he died, no, I reckon he's still out there waiting for his direct descendant to come and get Makushiroku when the time is right. Wow, I never knew that all happened. Said Kiba in shock, and Sasuke is having greedy thoughts about searching for such weapons, so he can get revenge on his brother, when I find these weapons, I will find Itachi and kill him, those weapons should be handed to the Ichihas he thought with greed, unaware that Naruto heard his thoughts. Naruto smirks and thinks foolish boy, only the Yuzumaki clan can wield such powerful weapons, but how are we going to fight Zabuza as we are? Asked Sakura in worry. And Kakashi says we'll train you, but Naruto doesn't have to do the same training as you guys are gonna get, he can do his own training. And the genin are jealous that Naruto won't be joining them for training. The little girl about the age of 12 walks in and runs to her grandfather and hugs him, welcome back grandpa. She said happily, and Tazuna says hello there Ayn, these are the ninjas that are protecting me. Ayn looks at them and says they're gonna die when they face Gato. Kiba glares at her, and Tsunami gets mad at her daughter Ayn that was very rude, apologize now. She said to Ayn sternly, and Ayn looks at her and says, but mom Gato will just wipe them out like the last hero that tried to stand up to him. 
Listen Brad, I don't know what you're talking about, but you need to be careful what you say or you'll be sorry. Barked Kiba, Ayn just runs upstairs, and Tazuna says sorry about Ayn, she just doesn't like heroes, she been like this ever since what happened with the last hero that stood up to Gato. Don't worry about it, she just isn't in her right mind, give her some time. Said Naruto wisely, and Tazuna says you're right. Back with Zabuza. Zabuza is bedridden, he is having plans on defeating the red-haired young man for defeating him easily, just you wait Naruto Uzumaki, I will try and find out your weakness and defeat you he thought. Zabuza sama, are you alright? Asked Haku, she is very worried about Zabuza's health, and Zabuza says that red-haired boy defeated me easily, next time I'll drive him to his knees. Zabuza sama, you shouldn't push yourself, you'll only shorten your lifespan. Said Haku, and Zabuza decides to rest, fine, but next time I'll defeat him. He darkly said. I'll go get some herbs for you, you'll need them to get better. Said Haku, and Zabuza says go ahead, just don't take too long. Haku then walks to her room, and she changes to a kimono and lets her hair flow, and she takes a basket to collect herbs. Back with the gang. Kakashi and the other jonin senseis are training their genins, while Naruto is training near the river. Naruto at the river, alright, time for some telepathy training. He said, and then goes into meditation state and focuses, Naruto concentrates and slows his breathing, he then reaches out to the water to make some water levitate into a bubble-like appearance. As he does this, Kishina, Anko, Kurinai and Kakashi decide to watch, Naruto keeps focusing, and then finally, a large bubble of water appears levitating above the river, with an added bonus of some fish inside, with the exception of a couple sharks, dolphins, octopuses and eels. The hidden audience is in awe at the display, Naruto could possibly surpass the first ever telepath, Koga Fujimoto, wow, Neru-chan is one powerful telepath thought a starstruck Ishina, oh, I am so gonna want to know him better even more thought Anko and Kurinai with looks of lust and want in their eyes, Naruto has a massive amount of potential. He will surpass all the hokage thought Kakashi proudly. Unknown to them, two cloaked figures are in the trees above the four, well, he is certainly a powerful lad. Said the first one in pride at his descendant's display of power, indeed Todasai, he is your successor and is also my successor, he will be taught the ways of the telepath when the time comes. Said the other one. That's fine with me Koga, I fear the return of Akuma will be sooner than we thought, we may need to take him for training when it's time. Said the now named Todasai, yes, Naruto will be the one who shall save the world, Minato and his cronies will be brought to justice. Said the now named Koga. When do you think will be a good time to start training him? Asked Todasai, about a year, but that should be enough time to get some more of the citizens of Konoha onto his side, so he can rebel against Minato's corruption in the future. Said Koga, Todasai nods at Koga's decision. They go back to their respected hideouts and wait until it's time to train Naruto, and Naruto is opening his eyes, and he sees that he did it, he grins excitedly and starts to laugh, I did it, I can manipulate water with my telepathy he thought proudly. He lets the water go back down into the river and he stands back up, yes, I did it. He declared, and Kishina along with Kakashi, Anko and Kurinai walk out, that was very impressive Neru-chan. Said Kishina in a proud voice. Naruto looks behind himself and sees his mother and the other senseis clapping for him, that was a magnificent display of power Naruto-kun. Said Kurinai, and Anko says that was awesome. Naruto blushes a little at the compliments that Kurinai and Anko gave him, I think it's time to know what your chakra nature is. Said Kakashi with an eye smile, and Naruto is shocked at this, my chakra natures. He asked in shock. Yes Neru-chan, every shinobi in Kinoichi has a chakra nature, those with more than one chakra nature are usually jonin that can use them, but it is possible to wield up to all five chakra natures. Explained Kishina, and Naruto asks which chakra natures does Natsuki-chan have. And Kishina says Natsuki-chan has the wind nature, lightning nature and water nature. Do you think that Natsuki-chan could be wielding a Keke Genkai that she hasn't awakened yet? Asked Naruto, always possible. Said Kakashi, yes, now we'll get to see what chakra nature that you have Neru-chan. Said Kashina, she has been curious about Naruto's chakra nature since day one of the day that they became Team Eleven. So how are we going to find out what my chakra nature is? Asked Naruto, and Kakashi takes a couple pieces of paper out, these are chakra paper, they will allow us to see what chakra nature that you possess Naruto, we'll demonstrate. He said. Kakashi's paper wrinkles up, Kurinai's paper bursts into flames, Anko's also paper bursts into flames, while Kishina's paper cuts in half and goes soggy, you see Naruto, I have the lightning nature, Kurinai and Anko have the fire nature, while Kishina-sama has the wind nature and water nature. Said Kakashi, and Minato has wind and lightning, I just want you to know. Said Kishina. Let's do this. Said Naruto, and Kakashi gives him a chakra paper, focus your chakra into the paper. Said Anko, and Naruto does so. 
and what the paper does shocks everyone even Naruto, first the paper splits into four pieces, then one gets soggy, another bursts into flames, the next one turns to dirt and crumbles away, and the final piece wrinkles up, how can this be possible? Asked Kakashi in shock, Kishina is the most shocked I can't believe it, my Neri-chan has all five chakra natures she thought. Is this normal? Asked Naruto in shock, and Kurinai says no, this is very rare, only a select few possess all five, and one of them is the Rikidu Senen. And Naruto says guess I gotta start training then. Yes Neri-chan, but we will start with the water, we haven't seen you use water style jutsu, so if you want I can teach you the water style jutsu that I know. Said Kishina, and Kakashi says and me too. And Naruto asks you know water style jutsu too. Yes, I'm not the copy ninja for nothing. Said Kakashi, and Naruto says I scan Zabuza's mind, and I also learned what jutsu he possesses. Their eyes widen at this, and Kishina asks what jutsu does Zabuza know. And Naruto says he knows the flying revolving sword, the hidden mist jutsu, the silent killing technique, the water clone jutsu, the water prison jutsu, the water style. Giant vortex jutsu, the water style. Water bomb jutsu and the water style. Water dragon jutsu. Their eyes widen at this, that telepathy is really scary when you use it Naruto-kun. Said Kurinai, and Naruto says thanks. Back at the house. After training with Kishina and Kakashi in water style jutsu, Naruto and the rest of his fellow team members are at the table having dinner with Tezuna and his family, Ain is just sitting there in her chair, glaring at Naruto, why, why do you try so hard, Gato will just kill you? She asked in anger, and Naruto says because we shinobi and Kinoichi never back down, no matter how strong an enemy is. Shut up, you'll never understand my pain, you don't even look like you've suffered at all, what do you know of suffering? Snarled Ayn, then the temperature drops to freezing, and everyone looks at Naruto, and he has a pissed off look on his face. You arrogant brat, you claim that I know nothing about pain and suffering, well newsflash, I had a life so horrifying that it can make your suffering look as gentle as a sleeping kitten, I had to live out on the streets after I was kicked out of the orphanage at the age of four, I had to eat out of garbage cans and allies. I had to live with mobs coming after me all because of something that I had no control over, I would have died if it wasn't for the leader of my village, he gave me a home, so I wouldn't have to live on the streets, I had very few people that really care for me, but until I nearly died all because of some mob of stupid villagers that believed that I was a demon. So don't say that I don't know what suffering is. Naruto barked, Naruto you said enough. Sakura barks out at him as she stands up, and then she gets the look in his eye that makes her afraid, sit your ass down, and don't butt into my business again. He growled at her making Sakura quickly sit back down. Screw it, I'm going to blow off some steam. Growled Naruto and he stormed off slamming the door. Everyone is in shock, I've never seen Naruto that angry before, he's the rock of our team. Said Kakashi, and Sakura asks fearfully, was everything that Naruto said true sensei, did all that really happen to him? And Kishina says I'm afraid so, but it is the sugar-coated side of it. What happened? Asked Tsunami with tears in her eyes, Kakashi and Kishina explain what has happened in Naruto's life, when they finished, everyone had different reactions, the girls even Sakura were in tears, Tazuna grips his hand in anger, I never knew that a child that kind could suffer that much. Natsuki whimpers oh Naruto, I didn't know. Sasuke is indifferent, he scoffs, where did he get that from, maybe he made that up to make people feel sorry for him. And he walks to his room. Hiba was the same, and he says he thinks that he can just get pity and feel better, well he should know his place at the bottom of the food chain. And he goes to his room. Spoiled brats, no wonder that they are like this, they think they're so cool, and come from a noble clan and a clan with the canine style to jutsu. Said Anko. But Naruto as soon as he closed the door. Naruto is pissed off to no end, stupid little brat, thinking that she has had a bad life when there will always be someone with a life worse than hers. He growled. As he passes an alley, he hears whimpering from there, he decides to investigate and finds a box with two pups inside it, a snow white pup with ocean blue eyes and a pitch black pup with emerald green eyes. Naruto gets a better look at them, wolf pups, why would they be here in an alley? Thought Naruto. He uses his telepathy on them and finds out that the white wolf pup is a female dire wolf and the black wolf pup is a male timber wolf, he also learns that they were abandoned, Naruto took pity on them and decided to take them with him and take care of them, hey little guys he said softly to them. They whimper some more and try to go near him, and he gently picks them up and holds them near his chest, and they fall asleep, cute, I think I'll keep them. He said. Naruto puts them in his robe so they feel safe and warm, and he searches the village for a vet, he sees someone, uh, excuse me. He asked a person what is it? Asked the man back. I found these wolf pups abandoned in an alley, and I'm looking for a vet said Naruto as he showed the person the pups, and the man looks at the pups and feels sorry for them, and says there's no vet around here, sorry. That's fine. 
said Naruto and he walks to a forest and he decides to train, but first he makes a shadow clone to watch over the wolf pups. He then starts working on the jutsu he copied from Zabuza's mind and he mastered them in a matter of minutes, thanks to his shadow clones, as he's resting a new person is walking through the forest and she sees him sleeping on a tree truck with a pair of wolf pups sleeping soundly on his lap, she goes over to him and he then says hello Haku. Making her stiffen in surprise. How do you know my name? She asked in shock and Naruto opens his eyes and then he smirks I can read your mind, I know you're picking medical herbs for Zabuza. He said making her stiffen in fear and he says I know you don't like to kill, but not everyone is a mindless tool, everyone has a dream. What's your name? Asked Haku and Naruto says I am Naruto Uzumaki Namikas. That makes her look at him in surprise, this is the young man that gave Zabuza a run for his money. Can I ask you something? She asked and Naruto says go ahead. And Haku asks do you have a dream and anyone precious to you? Naruto says my dream is to become a legend, become Hokage, and my precious people are the ones that have been there for me back in Konoha, when my childhood was nothing but pure darkness and despair. Haku picks some herbs with Naruto helping her making her smile in appreciation, thank you for helping me, now I must really be going. She said, later Haku-chan, tells Abusa that I said hello. Said Naruto, making her blush and then says oh, and by the way, I'm a boy. And Naruto says nice try, I can tell when someone is lying. Haku giggles and says oh well, at least I tried to trick you. No one can trick me. Said Naruto, and he goes back to Tazuna's house, and he tells the senseis about finding the wolf pups, the girls squealed like schoolgirls and tried to cuddle them, but Naruto used his telepathy to stop them, Naruto apologized to Sakura for what he said, and Sakura just said that she deserved it, and that she was sorry for her behavior towards him during the mission. Bakashi said that Naruto would have to take them to Hana for a checkup back in Konoha. Naruto said that he would do that, Kiba being the fool that he is and tried to take the wolf pups away from Naruto, but the senseis had to discipline Kiba about trying to take Naruto's new pets, and Naruto was thinking of names for them and is having trouble with it. To be continued. What if powerful Naruto counsel bashing harem tune in exam and thanks for watching my video till the end. If you enjoy this content then do consider subscribing to my channel and leave a like if you guys need the next part comment down and thanks for watching the video and see you guys next video.